Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today we have a very special presentation. It's very special. Special show because we're announcing the nominees for the fourth annual Atari Homebrew Awards. And once they're announced, they can't be unannounced. No, because you've heard them and they've been announced and mm -hmm. you know them. So we mm -hmm. can't take them back. But today we're going to be announcing them. It's very exciting. Uh, there's oh, been... Thank you for subscribing, Muddy Funster. Woo! Party time. Um, so, we're going to run through the categories, and then we'll be announcing them, so stay tuned. There's a lot <laughs> to talk <Sorry>. about. <laughs> my, daughters, my neighbors have been warned of the loudness. I promised only to whisper. Yes. <laughs> But only for a minute. So we're going to announce it, and then we're going to be playing through two of the categories. Uh, Atari 2600 uh, Homebrew, Best Homebrew Original, and Atari 2600 Best Homebrew Port. We're and, going to play through two categories? Yeah. We're not going to do full playthroughs. It's feeding me nuts, which, <laughs> which is like the worst thing you can eat uh, when, You're gonna you, stick to the... when you have to talk. Uh, what cashews. Cashews. Yeah. You gotta stick to the cashews. Smart. They don't have any no shells. Flaky stuff on them because <laughs> those are poisonous. <laughs> um, yeah, and then subsequent <laughs> shows, we're gonna be playing through eventually all of the nominees mm -hmm. over the next couple weeks. Yeah. Um, but today it's two categories and then another two and another two. But we'll go through which ones we're gonna be playing. Uh, a Darcy Tree time. <laughs> he no no nuts for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers scrolling beside Darcy. Alan the Fur Arms Car Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari H, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Caffeine Man 2D, Charles Wheel and Chive 5, Coffee Cup Arcade, Dan ABC, Dr. Moo Cows, Great Defender, Roger Rapper, Ivory Tower Corrections, Johnny WC, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Laurent T, D, D Z, Mark Spacing, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, MK Smith, Mr. Zarnu, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom, Neo Media, or. Don Necro, a Pack RPG Coog, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Render Ghost, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweets, Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The Welsh, Mantiga Dan, KTM Events, Token Muncher, Trek MD, Vitoko, X Can X, and Yorgi's Castle Socks. They are Mega Mania Socks. Mm. Very fun Activision game for the 2600 and other platforms. Other platforms are available. Uh, and if you want to support the show and get your name on the side there, just click subscribe. And if you don't want to do that, you can follow us and you'll get alerted. Yeah. Um, so first off for the fourth annual Atari Homebrew Awards, I want to thank the nomination committee mm. because they work tirelessly to play all these games. I don't know if it's tirelessly. It, Are tirelessly. you saying they don't get tired? Uh, if it's a lot of work, I bet it's real tired. They get real tired. Uh, tiredly. <laughs> they tiredly play through all the They work as though the tirelessly. Games. And they no, no, they no. didn't just play the nominal games. Thank you for following uh, Gesed on Miss. Thank you very much. Um, they didn't just play the nominated games that we'll be announcing. They played all of them. Mm. All the eligible games. When they had to. Yeah. To nominate them. They, they did. <laughs> we'll they, just play. <laughs> we'll only play the nominated games. The good ones, games. yeah. Okay, what do we um, play? <laughs> they did the hard work, so you don't have to. Because, you know, they're, I'll tell you how many games there are later, but they did. They played a lot of games. So I want to thank them by name, nickname, on the Atari Age forums. Uh, Crossbow, Adam, Arena Foot, Atari Troll, Blue Swimmer, Vito Empire, CD-W, Daryl, 1970, Dave M, Fadist, Golf Man, Jam Tex, JGKSPSX, Just Jeff, Akario, Jimbo, Kari, Kaz, Atari Online, .pl, Kevin Moss, 3, Kev Kelly, Latom, Lord Kraken, MK Smith, Muddy Funster, Ninjaba, Phil Sand, Propane 13, Revenge, Rygar, Shanty 77, Smitty B, Songbird, Spiceware, Spindly 1970, Splendid Nut, Thomas Yench, Tix, and Vitoko. Thank you so much to the 37 nomination committee members that uh, voted on awesome. all these games. And while you're reading that out, yep. Atari very deliberately sat on your feet. positioned himself <laughs> to lean up against my feet. Mm -hmm. I am touched. <laughs> mm -hmm. Literally touched. Look, he's touching oh, me. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute. He loves you. Um, that's okay, Esther Mayors. You can help next year. You Socks help can. every show. Yes. Just by being there. Just and... by being there. 
talking so, all sorts of stuff. We uh, expanded the categories from last year because we want to honor a plump furry paperweight. He's so cute. We like want to honor smell of corn chips. As that's many. A very, that's a. It's a very generous <laughs> assumption that my feet only smell like corn chips. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much be, many wonderful. worse things that feet can. I mean, feet. Corn chips, yeah, they are notoriously stinky, but feet are more notoriously <laughs> That's stinky. That's another level. <laughs> so thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so we expanded the categories this year mm. to include more categories because mm -hmm. there's more and more homebrew games being made all the time. Um, and added a new platform, too. Oh, so, I just wanted to mention one oh thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. When you get mad about the nominations, just... See that list and send your hate mail to... You know where to send Not it. Not to now. me. Yeah. To those guys. <laughs> so we have all the same 2600 categories. They work mm -hmm. well. Um, so we have uh, Best Atari 2600 Homebrew Original, Homebrew Port, Homebrew Under 4K Original, Homebrew Under 4K Port. Those are the smaller games. We'll go through them more in detail later. Uh, graphics Original, Graphics Port. Music and Sound Original, Music and Sound Port, Work in Progress Original, and Work in Progress Port. Now, last year for the Atari 7800 Awards, we just had one category. 7800 Homebrew, I believe. It was just mm. one. So we've expanded them out because there's a lot more 7800 games being made, and even more next year, I predict. Mm -hmm. So we expanded them out to Atari 7800 Homebrew Original, Atari 7800 Homebrew Port, 7800 work in progress original and 7800 work in progress port um and we still have the 8 bit slash 5200 homebrew category and we have added this year atari lynx which is the atari handheld mm. system um because there's lots of great activity going on there mm -hmm. and uh <clears throat> we have changed the packaging to allow for any of the platforms to be in packaging because the first three years was just 2600 games mm. and yeah, that was, makes sense you don't need a there's nothing to do with the game yeah right yeah, yeah. it has to do with the packaging yeah, that's, so that's a very good change i i say that's a very good change everybody yeah. agreed to that everybody was yeah. like yeah that's awesome because yeah. you know it's not about the game it's about how cool the packaging looks yep um and we still have the lifetime achievement award as well which is not votable it's only the nomination committee that votes on that. Um, but all the other ones are votable by you, and the voting is going to open at the end of the announcement of the nominations. So you'll be able to vote very soon during this broadcast. Where does Lynx fit? How does it compare to 2600? I'm not... Oh, it's way more advanced it's, than that. So yeah. it's like... Yeah, yeah. That's what, um, that's I am not super familiar with Lynx. I had a lot of help from the community mm -hmm. in organizing it. I don't have a Lynx. But the Lynx is like... It's like okay. a Game Boy Color era, mm -hmm. I would say. Please correct me. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's got, you know, the small screen. It's got, you know, a smaller resolution. Mm -hmm. 160 by 200? I don't know. Is it smaller Please resolution than the Atari 2600? Uh, similar to Game Gear. Small, right? Thank you. Um because uh, it wasn't it like wasn't, the 2600 has decent resolution it just cannot utilize all that resolution yeah yeah it, as well it, as it, it can like how many pixels does can it use uh it how many, is you know like sprites or whatever i don't know what you call it it is uh 192 i was gonna oh, say it's one something right? 192 yeah. high uh vertical resolution by 160 across yeah that's your ability to use it but there's this 2600 you can't use all of that yeah like pixel for pixel you have to do special things yeah so people are helping in here and and what was the links again for resolution? i was just guessing is probably oh. totally totally wrong somebody can correct all right me. uh sorry i'm just derailing things anyways he is i'm Way a derailer <laughs> so if somebody could post the <laughs> I resolution can, i can sit here and say nothing or i can derail things. <laughs> that's my that's my option <laughs> so given that choice derailing it is um so the number oh, wow. of games that were eligible, yeah, derail, what? No, just the Lynx was... Oh, Ivory Tower Collection. The Lynx was pretty much the most powerful handheld. I don't count the Nomad or Turbo Express, given they were just mini. Yeah, the Turbo Express is literally uh, uh, a, 
a TurboGrafx 16 in a handheld. It could play the exact same games. Oh, wow. You actually plugged in the same cartridges. Nomad, I'm not familiar with. There we go, 160 by 102. So, so less, less, but not, but as you were saying, not necessarily less. No, because it could utilize because what, cause you could use them all more of the pixels, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, in and and more colors. So there. You wow, go. yeah, way more colors. <laughs> um, so the number of games eligible for the awards this year. This is eligible that the <laughs> nomination committee had to go through. So there were ten Atari Lynx games, definitely enough to be included into the awards because mm -hmm. it usually I set the minimum to six. So if you get six, you can be in the awards usually. Um, Atari seventy eight hundred games forty five this year, which is a which is a lot. That's uh, seventy eight hundred. You said seventy eight hundred. Wow, one on the right there. Um, for the Atari eight bit slash fifty two hundred. Now this includes <clears throat> work in progress as well, completed and work in progress. Anything so that was fifty two hundred are combined because they're they're essentially the very same. Yeah, very yeah. very similar. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can take a eight bit or fifty two hundred game. Do a bit of work on it, mm -hmm. because it has different controllers and some differences, but they're essentially the same. But it's like a decision to not have them... Yeah. Do, yeah, yeah. It's like essentially the same. Yeah, because yeah, one's gotcha. a computer and one's a console, mm -hmm. so there's limitations. There's no keyboard on the on the 5200. The joysticks are analog, so you have to make considerations for that. But under... And a math coprocessor, too. Oh, the, <laughs> so, the, the computer one has yeah. a math coprocessor? Oh, okay. I'm not as familiar with the 8-bit line as well. I'm getting yeah. more familiar because I have one now. Um, but yeah, there's the central, that's why I've grouped them together. And also, there's not a lot of 5200 games being released. This year there was because of um, a group of people that we spotlighted on the show that mm -hmm. made a bunch of ports. They released 8-bit and 5200 uh, at the exact same time. Yeah. So and, there's, but that's more to your point. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Usually there's like two. Or three 5,200 games a year. Yeah, yeah. So I combined them together so they could be included. Yeah. There were 67 Atari 8-bit 5,200 games. So quite a bit. And the king of homebrew for Atari. Atari 2600 had 129 eligible games this year. Wow. Yeah. A lot. That, I'm impressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a uh, total wow. of 251 games the nomination committee had nice to job. Yeah, yeah. slog through or enjoy. <laughs> Depends if they like the game or not. But they did like the following games that we're going to announce. I, I, th I think I think I, I, I would enjoy doing like... Uh, yeah, 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 you have to set cool. aside quite a bit of time. But, yeah, but you can... Definitely time consuming. But some people sure. pick yeah. just 2600 to concentrate on. Some mm -hmm. people are more familiar with Link, so they, yeah. they mixed and matched. And, for and how, sorry, how yeah. important was, would it be, do you think, in picking uh, nominees, uh, that they ha know the, the system Narrow to nominate the games? Or, 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 or is it enough just to play them and be like, this is really good, and this is... Thank you, Ground Trooper! 38 months. Oh my god, we've been on the air that long. Um, <laughs> enough to run the game. Because you yeah, don't yeah. need to know under the yeah. hood what's going yeah, on. Yeah, you just need to know. Do that you like it or you not? Need to, you need to like compare. Yep. The, 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 you don't even need to. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you are a, a developer, maybe you'll be like, oh, that's really innovative. That's really cool. That took a lot of work. Yeah, and, and it's you, always tricky to and, like, it's always tricky in a, um, in a general voting mm -hmm. sense for, to account for like innovative Mm -hmm. right because like something may not look or sound like impressive if, if people have to be told something's innovative <laughs> then is it a valid it's like, not like maybe it, i'm not i can't tell you what i mean it it's, it, it's valid the, the but innovation yeah, yeah, I know what you're is saying. valid but it doesn't if they can't notice it then does it contribute to the enjoyment of the game yeah, yeah. that's more of like a technical achievement yeah. that somebody has made um and packaging there were 40 released eligible games this year um, that were nominated for packaging. So all of these have been reduced down to six per category. Sorry, so can you say the last thing. category again? I uh, was reading. Packaging. So released for, games. Okay. Anything that was put on anything physical. Physical games. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so there's binaries where you just download the virtual. And then there's physical. So it could be on a cart, could be in a box, comes with a manual, 
could be any kind of packaging as long as it was physically released that's that's what counts and there was 40 of them stop making that noise <laughs> it's really <laughs> annoying for people i'm sure <laughs> that have that white noise yes yeah, so there's a few people out there that are like james and i apologize to you <laughs> but not to you and and probably there's some people who are like can you continue doing that and stop talking because i love the asmr that's going on <laughs> hi mk <laughs> stop it um i want to thank all the sponsors <laughs> for this awards who helped mm. out uh in one way or the, another uh zero page homebrew Thank you. Thank you, Zero oh, Page thank you. Oh, oh, I'm honored. Uh, oh, thank you. I am a, a very <laughs> small fraction of thank you. <laughs> Who is presenting the awards this year. Uh, glad I wore my headphones today so you can hear all the rubbing. <laughs> uh, I want to thank uh, Atari Age, who uh, sponsored the awards as well, um, who are hosting the voting. Oh, and, nice. Uh, and doing, I mean, yeah. doing the forums. Yeah, yeah. Um... I read out? Yeah, sure. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Zero Page Homebrew. Yeah, yeah, for the newest yeah, Atari yeah, games yeah. With world exclusive game premieres and developer interviews. Yeah. Broadcasting live on Twitch every Tuesday and Friday for almost yeah. four years. In case you wow. didn't know, now you do. Now you know now what you can't this say is you all don't about. know anymore. And Atari Age. Atari Age is dedicated to bringing you the latest Atari news, providing support for the Atari community, and maintaining an extensive historical archive. They're awesome. I use them every day, multiple times a day. I'm on that web page all day long, actually. <laughs> it's a You habit. must be. I see I'm like your <laughs> Yeah, it's up on the side. To-do lists and it's mostly your about calendar Atari. Age, yeah. And it's like, yep. Uh Mark Spaces Argon. Uh Argon lets you play games from your own collection as well as from our ever expanding library of classic games and homebrew with uh hits. With top tier emulation, Argon is focused on the seventies, eighties, and nineties cartridge based console gaming. Um, so they're going to actually have a special category in their emulator. It's, it's an emulator for like 2600, 7800, 5200, uh, links and soon 8-bit gaming for your phone or laptop or, wow. yeah, I think it's Android and it's got a couple other platforms. You got to go check it out. Um, but they're putting in a special category for the Atari Homebrew Awards. So you can just click on that and see all of the games wow. that are part of the Atari Homebrew Awards and play them to evaluate them. That's awesome. Um, and on those emulators, people just use like, like phone. a Android joystick? Phone. Uh, you can get Bluetooth joysticks or you can use the I guess phone. you can use on-screen. You can use on-screen yeah, stuff. Yeah, that makes that. sense. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Many of us always have a tab open to AA. I do. Yeah. I'm on AA right now. We're all, we're all part of AA. We have uh, addiction to it. <clears throat> uh, Atari Gamer, who uh, their website is all about links. So they've been helping out with the links category. Atari Gamer is a historical preservation project for Atari Lynx console. If you're crazy about the Atari Lynx and love g collecting retro games and consoles, you found the right place. Atari Gamer is the one number one source of current and historical information for the Atari Lynx. So because we brought links on board, we needed some help with that. And the Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion, which is a series of books that are up on top of my shelf. I actually brought them out last episode. They're really cool. They have a lot of information about 2600 Homebrew. Um, and he's constantly putting out new books. He's going to have a Homebrew checklist. So if you collect Homebrew, it'll have all the physical releases. Of that's great. 2600 Yeah, that's homebrew. awesome. Yep. And he... There's, like, there's nothing... Oh. Love. I... Uh, yeah, I I love <laughs> my name is Rev. Checklist. I play Atari. I love th that checklist, you have yeah. like a checklist of the physical. Cool. Oh my god! Like every, every once in a while, uh, there will be a thing, and I want to get the things. Yep. And it's amazing how difficult sometimes it is to find a list. You would think it would be really easy. Oh, thank Anyways, you, Mark the list Spacek. is awesome. Uh, so um, Argon's for Android, Chromebook now, Amazon TV tablet, Pi Four, and Win Eleven soon. That's awesome. Um, so Brian Mathern helped out a lot with the organization of the 2600 category. Um, he got together the binaries, the instructions, helped out uh, with list uh, verification, uh, things like that. <clears throat> uh, we have a zero cent, zero, oh, zero C dollar uh, step program. Uh, 12 step, yeah, I'm stupid. 
I should know. <laughs> I should know hexadecimal better. Uh, so those are all the people who helped out uh, uh, with uh, the Homebrew Awards. And now it's time for the main event, a piece of paper with a bunch of names on it. Here, you put those over there. Yep. And Because then I won't eat them. And then this Stapled monster can come up down. here and uh, I don't have to fight him off. Yeah, I stapled that upside down. Oh, well. Meryl so Bain let's get the Meryl numbers. Thank Bain you, Robert G, for resubscribing for how many months? Let's see. 29 months and on a 29 month streak. Every month for 29 months. That's over two years. That's amazing. Oh, and S. Ramirez uh, endorses Brian's homebrew checklist. Another <laughs> 10 times. One zero type. How would you pronounce that? It's one zero, I guess. One zero different types well, of people. Those to, who understand binary and those who that. don't. I'm sorry, buddy, but you're not allowed to even consider it. I would get in so much trouble Stop if I let you do that. that. Here, I'll put my hand here. You can't even see it. I know. What did you Okay. Stop. Stop your messing around. I was stopping this cat from chewing through your cable. You. you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, the first category. Oh, I've got to hold this down. People will get a sneak preview. Uh, the first category is Atari 2600 Best Homebrew Original. <laughs> don't do not do bell time right now. Um, after this. Uh, so, for Best Homebrew Original, Electro Ball by Mike Letow. Escape from the Castle. By Vila Games slash Eduardo Villarino. Game of the Bear, VHZC Games, Va Vladimir Zuniga. Mr. Yo Yo, David Marley, and BJ Myers. Yeah, Game of the Bear. I know. You said Game of the Bear, and I'm like, I, what? Are you reading from a different list? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Your mind I see it in. Game of the Year. Yeah. Where's. <laughs> and Slide Boy in Maze Land by VHZC Games, Vladimir Zuniga. And Zark Stars, a space saga, saga by Landra Camara. Oh my god, Atari's playing Atari. He's playing Atari. He literally pushed down on the joystick a number of times. <laughs> uh, by Landra Camara, uh, Hater Macelle, Vivienne. Uh, he's doing it again. He thinks he thinks it's a bell, or he thinks he can get treats from it. Vivienne Picabis and uh, Kenny Schmidt. So I'll, I'll explain what the category. The categories are Atari 2600, obvious. Mm -hmm. That's the platform. I even put a little graphic. Homebrew, uh, homebrew, homebrew original. original. So this means the game is done, and it's not a port of something. Yeah. It's it's fully made up on their own, all new ideas. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so congratulations on the nominations for yeah. that. Yeah. And uh, you can see VHZC got two nominations in that. He's a workhorse. It's crazy. Okay, the next category is, if I could do it, let's see. Oh, there we go. Atari 2600 Best Homebrew Port. And a port is uh, port. ideas from another game or, you know, copying another yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Awakening. the ideas because it's not possible to port the actual game, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> not really. Uh, it's hard on a 2600 at least. Very different than everything else. Awakening by Rodney Sedal. Uh, Ladybug Arcade by Champ Games, uh, John Champo, Nathan Strum, Bob DeCrescenzo, uh, Nathan Strum again. Uh, he's done twice. That should be consolidated. Uh, Robot oh, yeah. War 2684 by uh, Champ Games slash John Champo and Nathan Strum. And Square Raid by Ben Larson. And the reason that there's four instead of six in this, because that's all there was. Of ports. Of ports. Ah. Finished ports. Hmm. Uh, above 4K, because right. we'll get to that in right. a second. So congratulations. <clears throat> Did you count these two in your totals? Because Yeah, I counted all these in my totals. Thrust likes to make uh, lists and uh, totals. So he's like, Did you count these? Did you count these? <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, next category, Atari 2600 Best Homebrew, under four, 4K and under... That special thing that oh, okay. uh, messes up a lot of stuff. So if you try and use that symbol uh, in certain programs, it'll f just fail. It is. It does not like less than or equal. Less to. than or equal. It like less than's fine, but that is a 
a symbol that messes things up. So I had to get rid of that in a lot of things. Uh, less than or equal to 4K. You should have just said rich... less than 4,001K. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't have screened there anything up. Uh, uh, <laughs> 4,096 bytes. Um, it's just 4,001 does it, though. It has to be less than that. Uh... So what if you can't have 4,001? <laughs> it has to be less than. That's all that matters. <laughs> um, original. So these are smaller games for the 2600. And... 97? <laughs> yeah, okay. gotcha. yeah. I'm slow, but I got there eventually. Uh, so original games under 4K, we made a special category for those because uh, because they were it's getting kind lost. of unfair. They were getting lost in the yeah, shuffle. Yeah, yeah, it's like a it's a and, genuine different category, yeah, and it yeah. is a genuine challenge yeah. to make a good game yeah. under 4K and yeah, make solid, it super solid awesome. category. Yeah, solid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Alien Exterminator by Nintendo, uh, Jo six five zero two, Chaser by Carl Garrison, Hellway by Octavio uh, Pinho Bocal. And Leonardo, D oh my God, Leonardo, uh, Keijo chases the cheese by Red Button Games. Leonardo Santiago, uh, Legendary Spear by David Dave Christensen, and Star AD by Zan. Congratulations. Atari Twenty Six Hundred Best Homebrew a Four K Under Port. Dodge it by Zan, Pong by Zan, and Soul of the Beast. By Michael Christofferson, Airform. Um, that is uh, only three in there because there are not many games that are ports of other games that are under 4K. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm surprised that there were any ports for 4K. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's amazing. <clears throat> uh, next category, Atari 2600 Best Graphics Original. So this is based solely on what you see on the on screen. On the screen, not the play. Yeah. Yeah, not yeah. the play, yep. just the graphics, not the sound. Uh, Game of the Bear by VHZC Games, Vladimir Zuniga. Uh, Kung Fu Combat 2 by Edward Smith, Kevin Mosley, and Michael Thomason. And especially Kevin Mosley, because he did the graphics. Legendary Spear by Dave Christensen. Slide Boy in Mazeland by VHZC Games, Vladimir Zuniga. His name will be coming up a lot. <laughs> uh, Solo Mahjong by Domashtan Games. And Zark Stars, a space saga by Leandro Camara, uh, Hitor Marcel, Vivian, and Kenny. So congratulations. Very nice looking games. And Atari 2600 Best Graphics Port. Awakening by Rodney Sedell. Dodge It by Zan. Ladybug Arcade by Champ Games, John Champo, Nathan Strum, Bob Tecrisenzo, and Nathan Strum again. Um, so specifically Nathan Strum for the graphics for that one. So if you, you see, I, I um, give categories beside each person's name so you can see what they did on it. Uh, Robot War 2684, uh, Champ Games, John Champo, and Nathan Strum for the graphics. This is about the graphics. And Soul of the Beast by Michael Christofferson, Airform. And Square Raid by Ben Larson. So congratulations. Oh, is, he, is Thrust saying I, they picked only four out of the six? I'm not sure what that means. Only and only four above. Four out of six. Yes, I hope uh, Vroom is at PRG. That would be awesome and have eight people playing. I want to see what uh, your touch screen. Oh, there we go. Okay. If you go down. Uh, oh, Smitty says if somebody makes a game that uses every byte of 4K, I think they deserve their own award. <laughs> <laughs> right up to the 4k so like you know zeros a, so you don't need what he's saying is you don't need a, a less than uh three and nine yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you don't need it that you just 4K. say I could put less equals. than four no less than 4k this is the category for less than 4k 4k <laughs> has its own separate category <laughs> Equal to well, thank you so much fox Mulder, for subscribing and welcome to the channel that's a new name actually no i did see that a couple shows ago thank you uh next category Atari 2600 Best Music and Sound Original. So this is everything you hear. It could be music, it could be sound, bleeps, bloops, tunes, whatever. Uh, Electro Ball by Mike Letow. Ethereum 2600 by Mike Sarna. Game of the Bear by VHZC, Vladimir Zuniga. Mr. Yoigo by David Marley and BJ Myers. Who did the music? Sly Boy in Mazeland, VHZC Games, Vladimir Zuniga. And Zark Stars, A Space Saga by Landry Kamara, uh, Hitor Masil, uh, Vivian, and Kenny. 
And for the port side of things, Awakening by Rodney Sedell. Dodge It by Zan. Ladybug Arcade by Champ Games, John Champo, Nathan Strum, a Bob DeCrescenzo, who did the music for this one. Nathan Strum, uh, and Nathan Strum. Pa uh, Robot War 2684 by Champ Games, John Champo, and Nathan Strum. Soul of the Beast by Michael Christofferson, slash Airform. And Square Ride by Ben Larson. Atari 2600 Music, making the TIA work way above its pay grade since 1977. <laughs> yeah, there is a very simplistic sound chip in the... Are you playing the games again? I don't know if you guys can see that. He's like batting at the joysticks. It's so awesome. Um, it has a very simplistic sound chip. And I think the joystick is just outside yeah, the view of... He was playing with the other one, yeah, so yeah. I think that was on screen. Yeah. Maybe not. I think that they're in the shadow of the... Um... I'll bring them out so that you guys can see if he does it again. Yeah, now you can Super see cute. We love it because of how horrible it is. Yeah, so for <laughs> notes on the 2600, they took a range of <clears throat> tones and just divided it up. Just evenly. So they're not notes. They're not notes. Some of them are near notes. Wow. <laughs> and, and and those are the only ones you have to work with? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a nightmare. That sounds like the Commodore 64. We're like, oh, well, we like these colors. And, yes. oh, the other colors will just be the opposite. <laughs> That's pretty, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Sorry. And, and the original. Sorry, Thrust. <laughs> and the original colors are like, hey, why did you pick those? <laughs> okay. Uh, Atari 2600 Best Work in Progress Homebrew Original. So work in progress are games that are still being worked on. They haven't said, yeah, I'm done. Uh, these can be very early or they can be late in the progress, um, but they are works in progress. So they can still be nominated later when they get finished. Uh, Canonica by VHZC Games, Vladimir Zuniga. Coneball by Kevin Kelly. Dragon Defense 2021 by Tyler Frisbee. Immunity by Mike Losh. Robot Zed by Chris Spry. Runes of Moria by Rossum. Tober's Nightmare by Mick Crocker. And Vroom by Thomas Yanch. So how do you qualify? It's a work in progress. Mm. Is it... How often can you be nominated for work in progress? Once. Once, yeah. That's what I thought. So if you're good I enough... I seem to recall that that was the If rule. your game is good enough as a work in progress to be nominated, that mm -hmm. means it's a it's good yeah yeah um and then you can't be nominated again because you had your shot yeah because otherwise people just go yeah i changed a graphic they may or may not but like <laughs> they, yeah they it could. just makes sense it's It'd like you don't want silly. the same game yeah like whether it's stalled or whatever you don't want it to in the, you yeah don't want it it's just after year or whatever a yeah, fair yeah. way of doing it because yeah. sometimes these games are in progress for four years five years some, yeah yeah some 20 like a long time i can't remember robot city was a work in progress for i think 16 or 12 years yeah so he would just be boop boop every year like well it's not done yet so yeah once it's nominated it's it's done it's out yeah otherwise i could get penalt for the third year this year yeah so what and then if you know if it's good on the works in progress it'll probably be nominated for a completed um awards too it's uh probably a pretty high chance uh and works in progress port Atari 2600, 1942 by Homer Homer, Wolfgang Stubig, and Pat Brady. Uh, Paint the City by Philip Blackman. Kicks by Champ Games, John Champo, Nathan Strum, Bob DeCrescenzo. Ruby Q by Silvio Mongno. Mogno. Uh, Tomahawk 777 by Carlos Centeno. And Turbo Arcade by Champ Games, John Champo, Nathan Strum. So... Those are games that you'll probably recognize, some of them at least, mm -hmm. uh, from like arcade or another uh, console or a computer system. It's just another game that came over from something else. And with a different name. Some have, some changed their names. Like yeah. Ruby Q is, well, I don't, I don't know, know what it is. It seems <laughs> familiar. But all the other ones are the original names. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like 1942, super famous. Turbo was Turbo. And they just add arcade to, because sometimes games are released on home systems, and they're like, 
It was okay. Yeah. Yeah. And this yeah. one's the arcade version, right? So it's yeah. closer to the arcades. Sometimes yeah. they add arcade to it. So congratulations on all those awesome games. They're really good, all of them. Uh, so now we get into the 7800. I don't even need this piece of paper. I don't know why I printed that out. I have it nice and big in front of me. Uh, I don't even know why I'm holding on to it. So Atari 7800, uh, another system, very awesome system that has been... A lot more games have been worked on for this, and we've expanded the categories to four this year. So Atari 7800, best homebrew original. Yeah, work in progress homebrew is a tough category. It is full. Uh, PRG 2022, as far as I know, has not been announced. Hopefully soon. Uh, Adventures of Ollie Troll by Walter Lauer and Franco Dragon. EXO by Muddy Vision slash Lewis Hill and Bobby Clark. Night Guy in Low Res Castle Days, VH said C Games, Vladimir Zuniga. Slide Boy in Maze Land, 7800 by VH said C Games, Vladimir Zuniga. And Wizard's Dungeon by Baido Empire. I did not add up how many nominations each person got <laughs> or each game. I ran out of time, but uh, I'll leave that as an exercise <laughs> to the audience. Uh, VH said he got a, a lot of nominations as well as champ games as well. Um, cause they're both proliferate, proliferate. Well, it's sort of, of like a non-award <laughs> award <laughs> for the top numbers. It's an unofficial award. Cause I know most nominated, the, most nominated it is. Cause yeah. I know in the like Academy Awards, yeah. they say blah, blah, blah is game or not. A movie has been nominated, nominated seven for times group, group. and everybody Makes a big deal about it. Because it is. Uh, Atari 7800 Best Homebrew Port. 2048 by Muddy Vision. Slash Lewis Hill. Dragon's Descent by Todd Fermansky. Oh, watch that cat. Psst. Psst. No. His nose is right up against the cable. Opening just, but I think it's just smelling it. It's not. <laughs> uh, Dragon's Descent by Todd Fermansky. You can love the cable, but you can't bite it. Galaxian <laughs> by Bob DeCrescenzo. Popeye 7... Okay, get out of here. Come on, get. Popeye 7800 by 20th Street Arcade. Daryl Genther, Bobby Clark, Matt Smith, Pat Brady, Mike Sarna, Paul Lay, Perry Thuente, Marco Sabiet Sabeta, and Atari Boy 2600. So a big team there. Uh, Uniwars by Bob DeCrescenzo. Congratulations to all of those peoples. Atari 7800 Best Work in Progress Homebrew Original. Uh, Bernie and the Cubic Conundrum. By, I like the name of that. It's a fun game. It's a fun <laughs> game. Uh, it's a good name too. But a uh, Muddy Vision, Lewis Hill. Canon in D, D for defense. <laughs> Just to be clear, it's D for defense. Uh, VH said C Games, <laughs> Vladimir Zuniga. Uh, Dragon's oh. Havoc by Todd Fermansky. A <laughs> bad kitty. <laughs> Tari wants the bell. He does. He does act up. Soon, I... soon after after the announcements, we'll, somebody will ring the bell. Not before. Uh, Night Guy Quest for Something. Uh, VH said C Games. Vladimir Zuniga. I love the funny um, titles. Uh, Ninjish Guy Perilous Island. VH said C Games. Vladimir Zuniga. And Space Peril. Carl Garrison. VH said Z Games is competing against himself <laughs> three times <laughs> in this category. <laughs> the, the guy's a machine. It's crazy. Oh, sorry, is he a machine? Yes, literally. VH said Z is uh, AI. <laughs> it's pretty good AI. Uh, it's your move, James. <laughs> uh, Atari 7800 Best Work in Progress Homebrew Port. Arkanoid by Matt Smith. Attack of the Petsky Robots, Chunky Pixel Games, Matt Smith, and Mike Sarna, and David Murray, who is better known as the 8-Bit Guy. Uh, Ghosts and Goblins, Chunky Pixel Games, slash Matt Smith. Keystone Capers, Muddy Vision, Lewis Hill. Uh, Bobby Clark, Matt Smith, and Bethany Hill. Mario Brothers, Old Style, uh, and Bobby Clark. Penta. Uh, 20th Street Arcade, slash Daryl Genther, Paul Lay, and Pat Brady. 
Pinto is Pango. <laughs> so if you don't recognize that one, all the rest have their original names. Uh, so next is Atari Lynx, best homebrew. I can put a little Atari Lynx there. Ah, there Make you go. Look, look nice. Watch that cat. Uh, Asteroid Chasers, Asteroids Chasers by uh, Frederick Descharmes. Um, based on the Cheese Ch Chasers card game by Brian McMillan. Uh, and Templeton and Fadist and Sampo Rintenen. Uh, Raid on Tri-City Second Wave by Frederick Descharmes. Uh, Daniel Horvath and Sasha Lubinow. Sky Raider Redux by James Higgs slash Team Jum. Unnamed, Martin Sewek, uh, Carl Forhan, Sasha Lubinow, Igor Kromen, or Kromen. Uh, Zump, Jump, how would you pronounce that? Some of these is the first time I've said these out loud. Jump. X Umpire 2. X Umpire 2. But does that mean that they were. Two. Oh, that's <laughs> Were they an umpire or they. Maybe. Or they're hey, dead. Hey, Vlad, just the discussion to say that a permanent category for VH that see is needed so that we just vote on which of your yearly creations is best for that year. <laughs> Hilarious. VHZC, you missed VHZC. <laughs> I'm kidding, but it seems that way. Yeah, it makes a lot of games. Uh, YNXA. Oh, did I read out the names? No. Zump 2, Jump 2, Jump 2, Nop 90, uh, Jonathan Dodd, uh, Dulcan, uh, Michael hmm, Zipolowski. Zipolowski. I'm not sure. Uh, and Y N X A Zablowski. I'm very bad at pronouncing I, Polish names. Yeah. Uh, y N X A Frederick Jesharms, uh, Kronbitz, Elthen, uh, and J P Garin, Garin, and Fatist. Congratulations. Really like Y N X A. As Ramirez says, Linka. Uh, but then other people would want to try to win in the VHZC category. <laughs> <laughs> this is a VHZC-like game. <laughs> Atari 8-bit slash 5200 best homebrew. Albert by KSKI. Uh, Kaz and O-D-Y-N. Oh my God, it's so small. Uh, L-E-C. Uh, the Atari 8-bit games are and quite triplex. a collaborative letter. Uh, oh, Tripex. 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 Quite, a, quite a collaborative effort, so the writing got a little bit smaller. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Final Assault by Robert Pecknick, uh, Merrick Marco Shorvat, uh, Marion Goldmaster, Vibos Talk, uh, Lopez 453. Uh, Flaw by... Oh, boy. Bokinayu, Bokin, Bokinu, Bossianu, Bokinu, boy. Uh, music by Lyso, Miker, Aceman, PG, Zoltar X, uh, and hardware design by MQ. Uh, Gakek, oh my god, am I pronouncing these right? Ter probably not. Uh, Yana Shabowski, and I've said that name, so I think I know that's the pronounce, pronunci pronunciation. Uh, Prince of Persia by Rensoup, Constantin Constantinos Giamelides, uh, Miker, Vince Cool, MK, Macquarie, Super Rune, DMSC, XXL, Rich Talbot Watkins, uh, Elmer, and Elmer. And Einar Soka. Einar Soka. Soka. Yes. Prince of Persia. Did I even say the name? Um, exactly. and the children by Victor Parada. Congratulations. Yeah. There were a lot of really good games in the eight bit lineup. And I think we've played all of them actually on the show already because they're awesome. Uh, and the final category, and I put all the consoles. Ah, nice. Uh, for Atari best packaging. And like I said, all the consoles are now eligible for best packaging because it's Platform agnostic, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, yep. Asteroid Chasers by Frederick Descharmes. Uh, Deluxe Artworks by Abegas Giulietano. Regular Artworks, because it has, comes in two flavors, mm. regular and deluxe. 
<laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, and I spicy. Got you. Yeah, no, yeah, not yeah. spicy. Uh, Picken ya, uh, Picus Uperstar, and Uplayak, a 3D asteroid model by Harlequin. Dagger Quest Bilani, 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 uh, by Marcin Whip Lapinski. Kung Fu Combat 2 by Edward Smith, Kevin Mosley, and Michael Tomlinson. Especially to Michael Tomlinson for the packaging. Uh, Robot War 2684 by Champ Games, John Champeau, and Nathan Strum. YNXA, Frederick Descharmes. Deluxe artwork by Margarita Gadrat. Regular artworks by Macro Vector, Bishop Samuel. 30, uh, 30th edition artwork by Kevin Mosley and 3D Pyramid by Egg Prof. Because so I think it comes with a little... 3D printed pyramid. Uh, Zark Star's A Space Saga by Leandro Camara. Uh, Heater Massil. Uh, Vivian Pacabes. Pacabes? How, how is that uh, C pronounced? I know that's in French as well. I think it's just a C. Pas Pasabes. And Kenny Schmidt, cover illustration. And I believe that is the last category. Congratulations to all the nominees. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. A lot of hard work over the year of 2021. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, so now, overall, I'm at a 4.5 out of 6. That's fine by me. So I'm guessing Thrust is calculating which ones he nominated and against uh, the ones that got nominated. Gotcha. Yeah. Yes, congratulations to all the nominees. So now... It's time to make it live, I think. Let's see. Yeah, go live with the voting. That's next to my schedule. So we're going to go live with the voting. Then I'm going to go over the rules of the voting. Or should I do it the other way? No, I'll, I'll let it go live because the rules are posted. So make sure you read the rules. Read the rules. They're very, very, very important. Why don't you just state them then if they're that important? I will. I right mean, after. right now before. No, it's no. too long. People want to vote. Because a lot of people have voted last year and the year before, and they know the rules. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to delay too long, because the rules are a little tedious. But read the rules, because there, your game could be disqualified if you don't follow the rules. It's very important to read the rules. How does that happen? You'll find out. Well, no, <laughs> tell me. Nope. Nope. You could be disqualified. You could be disqualified. <laughs> We don't want anybody disqualified. Is so what I'm are saying. you not allowed to vote for your own game? You are. That's not it. Okay. Yeah. That's not. That's not. It. Oh my nose is so itchy. Ah. Okay. <laughs> no, that is not the first rule. A fight Carl club. G. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, meatloaf. Um. No cheating. No one rule. No cheating. Yeah, no cheating is is a good rule. It's not the number one rule, but uh, there there is. Yeah, there's. It's actually, street there's time. Yum yum oh, yum yum. Is. Oh my street goodness! Time. Oh my goodness! Because this is a good time. It's an excellent time. You've been practicing. Have you been practicing? Here you go. You gotta boop the pooper. Can go you on. see it? Oh. Yeah. Let's there you go, go big buddy. with it. Uh, cat cam large. There we go. Okay. I am going thing? to make the everything live. There we go. And I will post where to start voting. The voting is not live, but the... To put the cat cam... It's big. Uh, yeah. Okay. You it's about time. Back. Atari was starving. <laughs> starving. <laughs> so that's where you need to go. Um, we'll discuss more about that later for people who are watching it later and can't click on that. Um, now I'm going to make all the votes live. Unhide. Did that work? No. Unhide. Did it work? Let me refresh. No, it didn't work. What? Try that again. Ding that bell. Ding that. Oh, do do dings. So you how should, many do you normally give him? You should give him two when he does two dings. I don't know if he'll ever associate that. Oh no no no, that's just you being late. Or no? Did you already feed him? No no. I... Okay. Okay. I'll give him two more. 
I don't know how many you're supposed to get, but... Did that work? Try it again. Make a noise. Oh, it's thinking. There you go. <laughs> I think it's going to work this time. I have to unhide them. Like, 18 different poles. It's taking its time. There oh, there we go! Okay, so... He does... What's that? Love, he looks, no ring, food belt. What? <laughs> okay, so there's the uh, forums where all the voting is. Um, um, he looks, no food, ring, belt. <laughs> <laughs> one more second. I got to make sure everything is good before we continue on. Ivory Tower, both of those things are true. Okay, Both of them. I think we are good to go. Okay, so all the voting is now live. So everybody that wants to vote, you can go click on that link. Um, and you can keep us in the background listening while we explain things. I know from that our perspective, ZPH has trained Atari to ring the bell to give a treat. But to Atari's perspective, he had tra trained the humans to give him a treat when he rings the bell. Very true. Yes. He's like, service sirs, uh, could you bring me uh, treats uh, right now? Yes? Yep. Both are true. <laughs> you have only aroused his appetite. <laughs> now it is for the main course. <laughs> that is true. Okay, back to this. Uh, so let's go through what is happening right now. Uh, Web page. Boom. Okay. So you go to the Atari Age forums, um, which is atariage.com, click on forums, log in, um, and then it'll bring you to this. <laughs> is he playing with the joystick trying to get food? Yeah. <laughs> so right at the top, on, like the very first thing, Atari General, Atari Homebrew Awards. So you click on that. That's a little bit too big. Now it's too small. Now it's too small. So it's got a nice header. There you go. Atari Homebrew Award. Celebrating the best in Atari Homebrew. And underneath it, at the top, the first pinned thing has all the information you need to vote. So voting begins. 1 p.m. Oh, we're eight minutes early. Um, <laughs> oh, I got to close up the polls. Uh, I just put that there to have it. Voting ends February 6th. So you have quite a bit of time not that long two weeks not as long as you think well when someone says you have lots of time you think oh plenty. all the time of the world no you can put it no, off just do it now you. yeah do it do it now um and then the award show is on february 12th at noon we'll be all dressed up atari will be dressed up on this same stream that you'll be watching um it's nominated well vitoko uh They've made it through. <laughs> it is a fun game. Uh, so don't discount your uh, coding abilities. So uh, there's a graphic. Underneath that, you can go to the full list of games right here. So some games don't have binaries. I'm just warning you right now. Some games are video only. There is no released binary. That's where you go to go watch the videos. It'll have links there for the games um, and all the different categories. So there's a nomination results that I just read out. What are you doing? You trying to get the toy? There's nothing there. Um, but you can hide that because that's a long list. Oh, it's a lie. There was this thing there. <laughs> there's the voting guide that we'll be going over shortly. Uh, and now you can download the game binaries and the instructions from there. It'll have them all together. You can download them and play them to be able to evaluate them. Um, I have to make all those links active. Didn't have time, but you can just go to the main uh, main uh, forum, back to the main forum, and they're all down here, right? Best packaging, Atari 5100 best homebrew, links best homebrew, blah, 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 blah. You can also make comments there, talking about stuff, discussing it. Like, oh, that game's really cool, or whatever, right? Just don't, we'll go over the rules in a second. Uh, there are rules uh, about things, and your comment may get deleted if you don't follow the rules. 
Um, okay, so that is how you do that. So let's go actually to one of the votes. Let's go to pff, the top one, best packaging. So at the top, you'll see all the possibilities for voting. You just pick one of them, whichever one you like the best, you think's the coolest, whatever criteria you base your vote on. I don't care. And you have to be logged in to... Uh, yes, you have okay. to be logged in uh, um, target age. Yeah. so that you can't just be anonymous and yep. start voting and blah, blah, blah like that. You have to have a login to Atari Age. Um, and the, there's more to that, but we'll get to it. So you pick one and then you submit your vote. One, two, three, four, five, six, or however many there are. Just, just pick one of them and then you go submit vote and you're done. That's it. Um, I'm not sure if you can change your vote. How do you get disqualified? We're not there yet. We're not there yet. Uh, thank you, MK Smith. Uh, it was, uh, I would say, a massive amount of work, as it is every year. And it's even more work this year. Um, because I have to coordinate all the nomination committee members. Mm -hmm. I have to do all the lists. I have to do all the graphics. I have to make sure everything's right. I have to field any complaints, of which <laughs> there are always complaints. Yep. Uh, corrections to lists, um, things like that. You can't change your vote. Okay, good information to know. Make sure you know your vote before you vote, because you're you're done. I mean, yeah, yeah. it makes sense. It's, it's like <laughs> any vote. You can't that's just, unsurprising. Yeah, you can't go back to the government and say, uh, "Can actually, I have my slip of paper out of the box?" Yeah, please? I kind of changed my mind. Yeah. <laughs> but and also, you cannot see the results of the vote. I just like that the person who wanted to change their vote was like a surfer. <laughs> like, can I change my vote? Uh, I totally messed up. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know what kind of... <laughs> okay. Uh, you can't see... I can see the results, but... Um, <laughs> that's why it has show results. But you cannot see the results. Otherwise, there'd be no point in having the award show and having that's a right. big to-do. We are withholding information. <laughs> that's right. For Suck it. For good reason as well, because... For your own best interest. Let's see how the results are doing. Oh, I'll just vote for the popular one. Or... It's going to influence or, you. The underdog. That one's winning? No way. This one here is We've got to also out, good. We've got to outvote it. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not good. Yeah. Mm. I can only imagine all the work. Yeah. It's an all-year thing as well, because I maintain all the lists of releases and daily update any releases that are done for 2600, 5200, 8 bit, 7800, and links now, and possibly new ones in the future. <laughs> it's discussion of adding Jaguar and Atari ST slash E systems, and that'll be every single old school Atari system. And I'm thinking, why not? Just add them in? But people are like, no, only 8 bit systems. No, no, no. So we don't know yet. We don't know yet. We'll see. And there's people like, yeah, I add them all in. Get them all in there because we want, you know, awards for our efforts, which is makes sense. People make homebrews for Jaguar and Atari STE. Uh, okay. So, so the only one left is Atari, Atari STE? And Jaguar. Those two. They're not... Oh, eight. sorry. I was confusing Lynx and Jaguar. <laughs> oh, yeah. They got clever with their naming. <laughs> um, and gets bigger due to your efforts. Yes. So it has all the same information down here, but... And you can uh, chat about it. Uh, down below. Mm -hmm. uh, and now I guess it is time to talk about the rules. Now that I've shown you how to vote. How do you get disqualified? Uh, well, let me tell you. <laughs> let me bring up the rules. Let's see if I can put that on the screen. I'm pretty sure I can make it nice. Page display, single page. Is it to do with uh, social... Uh Networking yeah. and uh, telling people to vote for your thing? Yes. Oh. <laughs> you guessed it. Okay, I don't know if this is big enough. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I think I'll do it a different way. You haven't. You guys can't see it yet. I'm just making it sure. Yeah, this will probably be better. So can you social network for someone else's game to get them votes? <sighs> I'll, I'll tell you in a second. Calm, because because I see campaigning yourself. as a great way to get rid of your competition if campaigning is verboten. 
We've, <laughs> we've, th- don't worry, we've thought of that. <laughs> We're not dumb. <laughs> we've thought of it. Okay. Ready? Uh, fourth annual Atari Homebrew Awards voting guide. Voting process. Discussion of the merit of individual nominations is encouraged, but please try to keep your personal votes private. Your vote shouldn't cast influence on somebody. So you can talk about, hey, this game's cool. It has great graphics. I voted for it. No, no, no. Don't don't say that you voted for it. Please don't say that. It's better that you don't say who you voted for because that could influence people. You may vote for projects that you were a part of, but it's strongly encouraged you don't limit your choices exclusively to your own projects. Don't just vote down the line your own projects because you worked on them. You can. It is allowed but you should investigate all the other cool games that came out and you should go legitimately this is a uh, objectively better game than mine <laughs> and vote for that one or don't i don't care it doesn't matter but you should take into consideration the other games that are out there uh voters must be an active posting member on the atari age forums for at least one month so it's too late yes it is too late um and that is to prevent people en masse from signing up right now under a million fake accounts. You need to have done that two weeks ago. (laughs) Hush it. Uh, A million fake accounts and them all voting for one thing. That we have found cheating in the past Mm. and we have taken measures in the past against games that have done that. Mm. So don't do it because you don't want to be in trouble. Um, any members founding s- found submitting more than one vote using multiple accounts will have their votes removed and may find their form access banned. Yeah, you're out of there. So there are ways to find out if you're voting multiple times and just have multiple sock puppet accounts or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. I think it's okay to talk up games you're worthy that are worthy in voting threads, though. Yeah, if you think, hey, this is a cool game, it has awesome graphics... Check yeah, it yeah. out. But don't say, I voted for it. You should too. Yeah. It, and, Terrible. And it's, it, you can talk up lots of games in the same category. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, posts in the Atari Age forums that promote participation in the event without encouraging people to vote for specific entries are fine. It's like, hey, go vote, everyone. It's awesome. Um, there's cool games in there. That's good. But post requesting others to vote for specific entries will be removed and may find their Atari Age form account disabled until the voting deadline is passed. So if you say, go vote for this game, you're done. I, I know, Ivory Tower Collections. They shouldn't be needed, but it's happened in the past. No reason to beat around the bush on it. Most of the rules shouldn't even be needed, and it's unfortunate that it came to that. That's like kind of the thing for every kind of rule book and any kind of warning tag on like clothing and electronics somebody was stupid and did what it said on the label and now we have to put it on there because reasons <laughs> yeah it's terrible but we have to do it In, um encouraging others to, to it's, vote it's it's better to just be clear and have rules it is a competition yeah and the truth is that when it comes to competitions, if there isn't a rule against it... People will do it. It's not just people will do it, but are they wrong to do it? You're, right. It, it, yeah. it, it, depends on, it depends on what you mean. Like a competition is you're trying to win and what are the limits of it. And so that's why you have rules so that you know what the limits are. You are yeah. Your com- competition is limited to this. And it's just better when you can eventually nail down all the avenues of what is cheating, what isn't cheating. Yep. And of course, the difficulty is keeping people from breaking the rules, knowing that the rules are broken and having rules. Those are two separate things. But yeah. like, yeah. Anyways. And, and there was no rule that dogs couldn't play basketball. So yeah, there's a dog playing basketball now. <laughs> and now, no, I'm joking. It's a stupid movie. That was a movie, right? I it's was Air like, Bud or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the thing that was the whole movie's based on. Yeah, there was yeah. no rule a dog can't play basketball. Yeah. As long as it's a boy dog, you can play in the boy sport. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, encouraging <laughs> others to vote for specific entries instead of promoting general participation in the event gives potentially unfair, unfair influence to those games. 
Entries that are found to be promoted by people associated with the creation of the game may find their game's inclusion removed from the contest. This is specific. Which is a, a, a terrible situation to reach. Nobody it's wants terrible. Nobody wants the competition, you know, to to be changed in yeah. mid competition. Nobody wants terrible. something to be disqualified. It, it like. You're screwing it up for all the people that are participating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. Like so, all the people, so voting. people who made the game, if they promote everybody say, saying, "Hey, go vote for my game," you're potentially gone. That 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 game is gone. It's unfortunate. Um, yes, congratulations, VHSC, for all your nominations and everybody else. Um, lots of the developers are in the chat right now, who uh, whose names were uh, named. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Only use the binaries or videos link, video links provided in the third annual Atari Homebrew Awards. The nominated games are to be evaluated on the newest binary released in 2021 and not 2022 or other years. Gotcha. Yeah. That is super important. It's really important. Yeah, yeah. Because the cutoff was December 31st, 2021. Yeah. People continue to develop their and games. Should. Yeah, and they should. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But... I'm getting a TV delivered today. <laughs> so that's why we're like, what's that noise? But they said 2 to 5 p.m. And it's 1 o'clock right now. So it's super early. Um, so yeah, you have to use the binaries that are included because games have progressed. Not much because it's only been a week and a half or something. Two, three weeks. Um, so definitely use the newest one. So you're using the proper one. Fourth Awards. Yes, it is the Fourth Awards. Uh, oh, obviously that needs to be updated. <laughs> Ignore third. <laughs> it's supposed to be fourth. That's why we have proof for you. That would make it really hard to vote for this year's. <laughs> Super <laughs> hard. If you only use the third annual homebrew awards. It's possible uh, that <laughs> one or two works in progress from last year, but you don't want to use those versions. Yeah, typo. Uh, it's obvious typo. I will update that and then rename this 1.1. <laughs> it's a minor update. Uh, terminology. I don't know if I need to go through this by in detail. Um, I'm trying to nail down what a game is as best as I can, but everybody knows what a game is. An electronic game that involves interaction with a user interface or input device to generate video or visual or audio feedback that would be run on a visual 2650, 200, 7800 links or Atari 8 bit hardware, uh, compatible hardware or emulator. So it can be run on an emulator. Um, yeah, the year they're qualified from January. So the time is specific time? Yes, because I am running it. And the cutoff has to be somewhere, so why not make Pacific? Sure. It's easier for me. <laughs> why not make it easier for me instead of harder for me and ambiguous for the rest of the world? Game, and, uh, you guys can read this. I've kind of gone through this. Um, this one's important. Thank you for following, Jawi87. Uh, uh, so Op Bocal says, I voted in a certain game that I personally love without knowing I could change my votes. Now I'm not even sure if I click correctly since there's no confirmation. Please make this info that you cannot change or click very clear. I will do that. So don't rush your votes. Make sure you click correctly. Do it. But I will include that. That's very good. Um, physical release. This is my definition of a physical release. It gets slightly updated each year as I kind of nail it down more and more. Game that a game has been offered for sale, pre-sale, or free to the public on physical media such as a cartridge, floppy disk, cassette tape, uh, and may be accompanied by a manual box and other items. Pretty, pretty good. Completed. If a game has been declared finished, completed, done, or words to that effect by the developer, or if a game has had a physical release. How about if they re made a release that's one point something? Then does that count as declaring it done? If it's the first year, the 1.1 has been available, then yes. Mm -hmm. But if, like, if they put 1.0, 1 1.0, and 1.1 in the same year, mm -hmm. the 1.1 gets. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But if they go 1.0 in last year and 1.1 in this year, no, you've but already it, released it, it. If a game a, a game has been declared finished, if it if they mark it as 1.0. It's already been finished, and it can't compete again. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're 
It's like the work in progress. You only get nominated once. I'm just once. saying it says if a game has been declared, finished, or completed. Yeah. And what I'm asking is, <laughs> by putting 1.0, does that is that a declaration of finished or completed or done? It is. Okay. And, and that's to, what I was asking. I need yeah. to add that. Okay. I do need to add that. Um, or words to that effect. We'll say 1.0 is words to that effect. Yeah. Um, game must have a video of gameplay or a binary publicly available to qualify. Because some games just go on cart and n there's no binary mm -hmm. um so somebody people have to be able to evaluate it some way yep. and a, vid so video a, is, a video is that yeah. way to evaluate it so yeah. because you know they don't want to give away for free and yep. i totally respect that but yep. they should be included as well yeah yeah um a work in progress something that's not completed pretty much um and you also a game that has been announced or a game that only has screenshots is not enough it has to have video again or a binary because if nobody can see it and nobody can play it, does yeah. a tree fall in the forest? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's more like like you could be nominated, but you won't be. <laughs> you could be, but, <laughs> but it's not. Even matter. I respect your game, but it's just not going to be in the. We awards. might respect your game. Yeah, yeah. or a QR code. <laughs> yeah, QR Q. I mean, uh, QR code's not a physical. I guess if you sell the QR. I don't. I don't even think that. No, the game has to. No, no, no. The game has to be like external. It can't be linked to somewhere else, right? A QR code is like a link to a download. That's not a physical product. But, I mean, I understand why you're saying that. I would not go so far as to say it oh, isn't. I would say unless the game's I don't see it in, that way. Like, unless the game's in the QR code, that is possible. I guess, but. Um, punch card, if the game's on the punch card, like the code of the game is on the punch card, yes. Avoid barriers to entry enjoyment. Uh, I tend to think of video... Yeah, some people don't like video-only games because they can't play them, and that's that's their prerogative. That's totally fine. Uh, and, and, and I was going to say, but I, I didn't... That's... Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, you, you put up the best video you can to convince people, and if it doesn't, then it, it doesn't. Fine. So that's just how it is. Yeah. Yep. And some people put up demos of their game where it's time limited or sure, level yeah, limited, yeah. and yeah. that's another w great way to show... It's another way to get people to see... To play your game. To, to like your game. Yeah. yeah. And it's no guarantee that it will be enough. That's just how yeah. it is, and that's, that's... And it's totally fair, but it's... Yeah. Yep. All the downside is on the person that has it on cartridge only and and yeah so it's, it's not unfair is no. i guess what i'm getting at uh um, it's just how it is yeah i put in hack because we don't have hacks so i kind of tend to define hacks because there's a million hacks and nobody liked that category <laughs> <laughs> it was a slog most of the nomination committee refused to even play them and so it, it was a non-starter mm -hmm. and and there's like hack awards now so there's somebody mm -hmm. else is doing a hack award we oh, just cool. don't do them um uh, there's a lot of boring what is a sequel what is a re-release what is a conversion what is a port because they're very very relevant to how things are included or not included um and then an original is based on what is it isn't a port yeah yeah it's like those other definitions matter so we know what an original is that's it's... kind of the way how it works <laughs> yeah, yeah um you did it in the right order on here and we had to add this in this year which is very interesting a compilation because how do you treat a compilation? Mm -hmm. Is it one game or is it a ton of games? And they just happen to be bundled together. We came to the conclusion that a compilation, that's what it is. It is, we judged the compilation because they decided to release it. You, you say you bought something, you bought the whole thing. If you didn't a, buy if, one game. If the games are only released... As yes. a compilation, then that is the correct way to do it. And, and that is people true. And people have the option of releasing them and, individually. And that's exactly and so, how we did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If even one game has been released before, the compilation's not allowed yeah. to be in the competition because it it's already been judged upon. Because say yeah. you uh, I mean, release the, the, fact, the awesome... The fact that you're allowing a compilation to be judged is, I guess... You could say don't worry about what a compilation is and only judge things individually uh, and be like, it doesn't matter what it is. So you could, you could do that. Yeah. Um, but, but, but this is fine. You're stating how you're doing it. This is how you're doing it. That's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong. Because, with that. because the, the 
developer or the distributor is going this is my package yeah, and again that's their choice to do it that way yeah, because yeah, it yeah. could be mini games like yeah. as as individuals they're like oh this is fun but not big enough and that's why they package them together yeah. and there were that's my only idea so far for an atari <laughs> game is <laughs> essentially a compilation, a compilation yeah. of mini games yeah um and then just some other things that don't fall anywhere um if the size of an Atari 2600 game is unknown, the size will be assumed to be above 4K. Um, because 4K is a very special category, and yep. only 4K games should be in that. Yeah. So if we don't know it, because they've only put out a, a video of it, we're like, I don't know, it's not going to be in the 4K category. Yep. Uh, are there... And how do you confirm that it's under 4K? I don't know if I, there are any. How do you um, confirm that it's that it is 4K? Well, usually they release a binary where we can actually mm -hmm. physically see it, or they show it on the screen. Some people can put display information in the emulator and mm -hmm. it shows, or they declare it 4K. Okay. And then future shame because it can be confirmed when it's been released. Oh yeah, future shame will come. Oh, but also it's been released, so it can be confirmed by somebody. Somebody. Somebody will have it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If it's good enough Are that it's there? being that it's considered that it's being considered no. to be nominated. No compilations are in the uh, competition, but there were compilations considered ah, yeah. eligible this year, so we had to put that rule. And it's possible the compilation could come in next year. And so like what 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 I would say is if you care about being in uh, like being considered for nomination, yeah. then maybe release them individually in addition yeah. to as a compilation to them. because because you know unless you have a strong reason not to release them individually you know just put a really big price tag on it if you don't want them to get it that way <laughs> <That's right>. um <laughs> you might sell a couple and then you benefit <laughs> what was i gonna say to that what people remember. should do i was saying that you should consider releasing them individually if that matters to you. I don't know. Yeah. It's slipped my mind. Um, so Ivory Tower Collections asks, why is there only a music sound effects category for 2600? 7800 and 8-bit or links not have enough to create a category for these? Um, 7800 don't, that's for sure. It's, it's, mm -hmm. I can see it in the future, mm -hmm. for sure. Links definitely doesn't. They mm -hmm. only had 10 total releases or 9 mm -hmm. for the whole year. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 2600, it definitely has enough. 8-bit um, and 5200, they have a lot. So I will definitely consider that for next year to branch out. The other consideration is money like, and time. Yeah, yeah. Um, because this, um, I physically produced these glare on there there we go ah oh, glare get all the white things off the screen um i have to physically buy these and make them and now there's 19 of these this year mm -hmm. um and they're not they're not inexpensive and they're not expensive but they're, they're a cost um and we have sponsors that help mm -hmm. out yeah, yeah. for things but if we make too many of these it may beca yeah, it, become it does, too expensive it does eat up like a lim limited resources. resources yeah yeah in yeah. terms of money in terms yeah. of time and so it has to be it has to be justified yeah. Yeah, yeah and we started with 26 there's another factor we started with just 2600 games yeah. in this yeah. so and so the, it makes sense to when it makes sense yeah. add them as opposed to just preemptively add them yeah yeah so the 2600 branched out first yep. to all those categories and then we started adding in others yep. so i can see it in the future yep. um expanding out as which we, does not mean you shouldn't be a little butthurt if you have a category <laughs> you want. Yeah. But just like there's and, reasons for it and maybe it'll get to it. And case in point, we expanded the 7800s this year to four instead yeah. of one or two. I can't remember what it was last year. Probably just one. To four. So we did the works in progress we added and we did ports and original because there was more 7800 this year. So we'll, we'll keep adding and expanding. And make sure we don't. And I don't want to outgrow ourselves. Like you can make it massive yeah. and huge and then yeah. it gets too overwhelming and people aren't happy with it and people aren't, there's not enough nomination committee to support everything. And I only have so much time myself because I have to do a ton of work. Oh my God. I've been day and night for weeks now uh, and working on this. Anyway, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's hopefully that's a good answer. Um, yeah, there was lots of, 
discussion, I think last year or a year before. Yeah, TIA versus Pokey uh, for 7,800. Yeah, if, um, you, if you had... Arm enhanced games versus yeah. bare metal games. I learned that word recently. If, if <laughs> systems have similar capability for music, mm -hmm. then you could, and I don't know, like what you told me about Atari tells me that that isn't, like it sounds like it's like, it's work to make music sound. On the 2600. On the 2600. It's a lot of work. But if other systems have similar, like, you know, if their music is notes, yep. then you can compare them you could. I'm not saying you can, yeah. but you could perhaps compare them, similar to packaging, because you're talking then about the music and not about the oh, ability to make the system make the music. That's a valid point, because the Atari 8-bit system and 5200 and 7800 all can use a chip called the Pokey chip, which is mm -hmm. used for sound and other things on other systems, but it's used for sound. Mm -hmm. The 7800 doesn't have it built in, though. Ah. So the chip has to be on the cartridge or enabled in the binary. And what does it the, use without the car, without it on the cartridge? The same, same as the 2600. Yeah. And so you could, you could, if, if yes. you wanted, you could without, without adding a billion categories next yes. time, you could combine <laughs> 7, the TIA. Yes. And you could just, you could go, you could make it chip based. Instead of saying the 2600, you right. could say chip based music. Best pokey music. Best pokey music. Best, best TIA music. music. Yeah. That adds a lot of complexity, but it is a valid right, But it point. only adds one extra category. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Pokey and Award. it's valid, right? Yes, the Pokey, yeah, Pokey Award. Award. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then I would have to, this is a nightmare, a, a bit of a nightmare, ask every single 7800 developer, does your game use Pokey? And there's also another chip, the Yamaha chip, which is also possible on that. It's not used hardly at all. Yeah, and so you don't have to deal with it until it becomes... <laughs> until, if it's hardly ever yeah. used, then you will never have to deal with it. Best PCM audio. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> because, uh, it just it gets a hokey pokey award. <laughs> but, it, oh, but it only... Be, but, but what I'm saying is, like, if you're going to add different awards for different yes. systems, then the, splitting it up over the chip, I mean, you've just sense. combined it. Yep. You've reduced the effort, is yes. what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Not just the effort, but... It also makes sense because when you're making the music in that chip, that's where the effort is. Yeah. It's it's almost wrong to split it up because then you would have like two sets of music that are in the same category, but they're been separated into different yeah. categories just because they're on different systems. Yeah. Um, there's also issues with the systems have a, high, a better processor so they can manage to do better music in the time mm -hmm. that is given allotted to them. Yeah. So that argument might come up. Yeah, um, because the seventy eight hundred is more capable to play TIA music than the twenty six hundred, so mm -hmm. that might be an unfair comparison. It's also an administrative nightmare. Which is uh, do just organizing which systems are using TIA and Pokey and um, like I said for the seventy eight hundred. I think and this looks I, all nice. I understand what you're saying. I would feel differently if I had to organize it. Yes. You have to. But I don't think it would be a nightmare. I think it it's would be like, oh, there's an extra box it's to a check. It's a nightmare. Um, this all <laughs> this looks is nice very and, revealing. This all looks it's like very revealing that you call that that you would nightmare. Call, but it doesn't reveal anything I didn't already know. But it is very <laughs> revealing that you call yes. that a nightmare. <laughs> this looks all nice and clean, like the presentation you see. And it's like, oh, a nice six, six uh, people uh, nominated for each category. It takes so much effort to get to those six people. Yeah, like mu a year's worth. What of effort. you need yeah. is to make an app designed to organize all of this. Uh, uh, that's a whole layer of uh, another nightmare. All you need all you is need an to app do. to organize all of this. Okay, so the category. Do you love it when people throw it just into their statement? Just and it's, do it. Just you just. <laughs> um so then i break down each of the categories and how they're defined and then i use those is this on there oh, yeah, okay. yeah so i use those definitions above saying oh what is a game what is a demo mm -hmm. what is a re-release and i use those in the definitions so awesome awesome that's, that's how they're all judged blah 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 and i had to add the links this year and um change the packaging definition as well it's not the one you that's the one you you asked about lynx not jaguar when <laughs> i was at that shop right yeah lynx yeah. is the handheld jaguar yeah. is um 
a console that yeah. is not in this in the contest this year um but maybe next year mm -hmm. we'll see there's people who want it people who don't want it people <laughs> are ambiguous what do you say i think darcy is volunteer oh are you oh I, hey if you want me to help i will help you want to you want to do the pokey <laughs> handle you, the chip if you, want, if you want me to help i'm not kidding yeah. i will help yeah. And have people yell at you for minuscule uh, variations of things that... It's it's like, <laughs> it's easier if you don't know. And they're complaining, and, and then you can just be like, oh, you're whining about I, nothing. And I if I were them, I would be saying the same thing. But I'm not them, and I don't know what they know, and therefore it's easy to dismiss them all as fools. <laughs> I dismiss your argument and so substitute my own. <laughs> Um, I guess my point is I was trying to make that the audio production of the 7800 games is quite getting quite advanced and is impressive and is a large number of the games. Yeah, the audio... Yeah, I, I do respect. The audio on the 7800 is out of control now. It's so good. Mm. It's unbelievable, the stuff that's coming out of it. And, again, I'm not trying to complicate it, but, like, yeah. when... Like, is that happening on the TIA chip? Or is that happening on the Pokey chip? Or, S or do the, you don't know? I, I do know. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm aware, because I'm... I, I know much more about the seven eight hundred than I do about the eight bit, mm -hmm. um, because we've been concentrating on the seven eight hundred a bit but, longer. And so, is it both? Sometimes it's both. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, yeah, that's a complication too, because it's like, oh, I got nominated for both, but how do you separate what the TIA is playing from the Pokey? Oh, oh my God, no, forget it. Well, I've just <laughs> thought. Yeah, of no, all that the... that 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 does that does clarify it you would have to keep it per system yeah because yeah, the tia is the used issue, yeah. for like sound effects a lot on the 7800 because it has all the kind of sound effects um and sometimes there's more than one chip doing the sound yeah because this is sound effects and not music well music too i we but it's, them it's together. music and sound effects yeah. sorry it's that's so what i meant easier. to say yeah yeah. yeah yeah anyway okay that's done you can investigate that all on your own i'll i'll try and remember please somebody please remind me if i don't add in that once you vote your vote is locked just like every other voting system that's ever been done before ever <laughs> uh, an official one i mean there's unofficial ones where you can go in and change things but you know think just think of government voting and you'll get you can't go in and get your ballot back it's not happening <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 but uh, i completely sympathize with not no with, with oh with, like it's, it's, it's the 21st no it's the 21st century yeah. the idea that you might be able to take it back it's not the same as voting with the government and trying to get it back in the box true uh, like i mean this is a side note but i play some, like i play terraforming mars and sometimes i play uh, online mm. and in the implementation of it like you can't take anything back you click that <laughs> button you're done it's no rewind yeah <laughs> um, Al and that just, is not something I assumed. So Al Nefer just mentioned that he uploaded uh, all the game binaries and text instructions to the Plus Store for Plus Car users, which is this. So if you have an Atari twenty, I'm guessing just twenty six hundred games. Um, so if you have an Atari twenty six hundred and you have the Plus Cart, you can easily go nice. and play them. Sweet, Smart. that's Thank really you. good. Yeah, wow. nicely done. That is very very great. Thank you. Um, so I'm sure I will get lots of debates in the uh, nomination committee and all that stuff. Yeah, just 2600, obviously. Um, about new things to be added and not new things. And now that you've brought up the, <laughs> the sound and stuff, or somebody else did, I don't know. I'm sure that'll be debated. I I, I... And, and, you know, I can be swayed. If you make a good argument... Oh, absolutely. I have no... I have no... And I've been I know swayed that you can be many swayed times, yeah, many, yeah, yeah, many, many yeah. times yeah. over stuff. Overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> One word. Overwhelming. <laughs> it is. It is. So um, I wonder if people have started voting. Let's go check. And I would hope that the people that are voting right now are people who are very familiar with the games. Um, so just, uh, well, you can see it, but forget what you just see yeah people are voting oh my god i can't believe what i just saw <laughs> just want to check one more i, I didn't actually see anything <laughs> i couldn't tell what i was looking at uh yep people are voting awesome well you, you're still moving around too much i don't even know what I'm <laughs> yeah i know what i'm looking for so yeah so awesome people are voting good stuff 
Uh, keep it up, but only one vote per person per category. Yes. So don't keep it up in that way. <laughs> I mean, keep on voting. No, no. <laughs> keep on putting your one vote per category. Okay. What's next on the agenda? Um, oh, yes. Okay. Uh, sorry. Dan ABC is asking a question. Does the yes. plus cart play Turbo Arcade since it won't play on Harmony? No. Has no okay. CDFJ support. As Alan the So it doesn't work on either. Meryl, based on Muriel, Doug, for subscribing. You are the awesomest. Woo! Ever, ever, ever. Okay. So I want to thank Argon again for uh, supporting the Atari Homebrew Awards. They can't see this yet. Um, so Argon let me know. Uh, they've added this in. It should be live now on the app. I'll go check it in a second. But you can install it. Is it on? Yep. I was just on Android. Do that, yeah. So you can do it while I'm talking. Um, so they've added, they should have added this into their interface, as you can see here. Uh, this button onto the Argon interface where it says Zero Page Homebrew Presents Fourth Annual Atari Homebrew Awards. Uh, that's one. Yeah, Argon. Um, and if you click on that, that'll take you to... Oh, no. Mark Space is taking over my phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hacked. Hacked! Uh, with, it's taking over your phone with awesome This is games. early access. Does that make it the right one? Yep, that's the one. Hooray! So if you click on that, it will take you to all the games that have, that have so far given permission to be to play on their uh, emulator. So you can uh, evaluate the games on there. And more will be added as the uh, nominees uh, let, let their games be uh, put on there. So that is very, very nice of Argon. He said, when you click on it, it takes you to a list of games uh, we tagged as part of the awards and that we have in Argon. For the phone or tablet UI, it will be a choice on our pop-up that filters the games list. Okay, so this is the app. Okay, so it'll look different there. So where do I go? I don't know. Scroll across. Or the filter there in the top right. Uh, let me see. Or the top left, maybe. No. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. It's okay, you can touch my phone. I want to touch it. Okay. What is this that we're seeing? Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't see it yet, but I see the categories. Oh, no, they aren't categories. I think that's just for placeholders till they pop into place. Uh, all? No. My rating? Recommended? There we go. Okay. So for the app, it's under recommended. Here. It'll be, go to the, not that. It'll be super blurry. <clears throat> go to the cat cam. Uh, there we go. Am I too close? Uh, a little bit. Okay. Anyways, you click it's good on enough. Your, click under recommended, and then Atari Homebrew Awards. So Atari go that, do that. There we go. Nice. So those are the ones that are in there now, and more will be added. Oh, live in a few minutes. Looks ah. like it's live right now. <laughs> so it'll be more. It'll be liver. It'll be even more live. It'll be super live. <laughs> um, so there, they, there, they, there it is, um, on the desktop version. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Argon and Mark Space for uh, doing that for the awards. Super, super awesome. Another way, so we've had various ways. We have the plus cart and we have Argon for evaluations, or you can download the binaries, play it on your emulator, um, or play it uh, using um, an SD card cartridge, which we're going to be doing shortly, playing some Woo! Atari 2600 games, the best of the best, 2021. Woo! Okay, glad it's already live. Okay, it is live. We made server-side change and the nominations were announced because I think it was going to go live at 1, so we're past that now. Uh, and that is it. That's it for that. Time for some opening some packages. So I got some mail. Mail. Yeah, it, might, it may or may not be live yet uh, because I only see... Some. Yeah. But oh, Okay, so it might be liver. It'll be later. live or later. <laughs> Would you mind going over the rules again? Sure. <laughs> no. I will not. Just rewind. Rewind. 
Okay, so this... <laughs> Would you mind going over the rules again? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing work from everyone. I agree. Especially yes. the nomination committee. They worked tiredly <laughs> and tirelessly to make sure all these awesome games that were released in 2021... Address this question. Politely asking people to play a certain game before voting. Since voting is final, would it be against the rule? Polite... A certain game? Yes. Yeah, don't point out games. Don't point out games about voting for that game. You can say, please play games before, but don't don't say... Don't say play this game? Don't vote. Yeah, yeah don't say vote for this game. Basically, or don't play this game. Yeah, basically, the basic rule seems to be don't uh, advertise any game. Specifically. Yeah. Like debate the games and the categories, but but don't like. Just yeah. don't say don't. Just don't vote for it. I don't know. I mean, why are you why are you asking about a specific game? Like play a specific game. That that that's for all games. Play all the games before voting. Yeah, don't point just out specific. Just clarifying. Games. Yeah, just yeah, just yeah, clarifying. Yeah. yeah, I'm not mad. <laughs> no. I'm not mad. I'm My not... face looks mad, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, don't. Don't point out specific games. Like if you're discussing, yeah, phaser cat. That's the right word. No campaigning. That's no right campaigning. Right. Yeah, no campaigning. Yeah. So this that's is the, for the, clearest, uh... the switch from Super Rare Games. Uh, Cave Blazers. And I play these games, so I don't mind destroying the packaging. So I can't remember what this game is about. It is a cave exploring game, roguelike platformer. So I think this is... Uh, <laughs> Negative campaigning is still campaigning That's campaign. for us. Nice yeah. try. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the anti-campaigning. Yeah. You want to know what's allowed? Not, campaigning is not on the list of what's allowed. <laughs> I guess you could say, you could say like, all these games are terrible and, and then neglect one of them. <laughs> no, don't do that. Negative campaigning is bad too. Uh, do I need to fill out a form for each game or can you take all four... From one form? Oh, that's Mark Spacing. Question. Um, so this looked really cool, so I picked it up. Cave Blazers. It looks like it's randomly generating dungeons, which is like that game that you're playing, but can be played on a console. Oh, Noida? Noida. Yeah, because I've been looking for a game. I'm hoping they eventually release that on some platform in hard format. It'd be awesome. Yeah. But... I'll probably buy it when I have my new setup going on mm. a computer upstairs, because yeah. then I can play properly with a nice setup and... Yeah, because that looks like a super cool game. It's it's great, yeah. It's great. But it has to be pretty much on a computer because it does particle physics. Yeah, it's surprisingly... need a lot of processing power. It's, it's, it's a surprisingly uh, good processor. I've got Battle Axe on the way for the PS4 from LRG. Got my super sh shipping notification the other day. Did I buy Battle Axe? I buy so many games from those people. Oh, this was... Oh, with that. Yeah. Keep it together. Keep it together, people. It. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what this is. I know what this is. But let's pretend I don't know what this is. Open it up. I think so bright today on the camera. It's better than dark, I guess. Uh, it's this sh the shirt's pretty bright. Yeah, it's like glowing almost. That's well, my soul. Oh, glowing soul. No, it smells okay. I thought I smelled it like smokiness. These. All are... the best gaming uh, uh, accessories. That's right. Have barbecue sauce on them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can open this up without. No. Damaging it. Oh, Ivory Tower Collections. Put in a guess what it is. Pretty good guess. And in, in fact, it's accurate and 100% right. <laughs> These are Jaguar controllers. Ah. For a Jaguar I do not have. <laughs> hey, you got to start somewhere. <laughs> That's right. I bought a Commodore 64 disk drive before I had a Commodore 64 because I knew... It was helpful, though. We could copy games. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, these are really good condition. Like, the perfect. I don't know if they work, though. Um, so, two Jaguar controllers. 
Uh, also work on the ST enhanced controller port, if I remember correctly. Oh, very cool. Not links. So these are... For those of you that have my stupid brain. <laughs> wow, this looks like it's, a VGA I don't know what it is. connector. It's about them being oh. close, but I don't think it is quite a VGA connector. I think it's missing one pin on the middle row. Yeah, missing pins are okay. It's it extra is. pins that are a problem. Or, or blocked pins on the other end. So if you I've plug this into your monitor, you could... I've actually held one of these. It's actually quite comfortable. Yeah, it's, it's got nice grips. It, it and... feels like it feels like the standard modern controllers. Yeah. Like did these come out before them or? Oh yeah. Because I... my fingers. What's the first? Look, even down here, my fingers are in trigger spot. Yeah, they and are. And my these fingers are in menu or whatever you call it, other trigger spot. There aren't any. There's nothing there, but like, <laughs> but the but the shape is there. Yeah. Like your finger, your trigger fingers go right where they would go. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, so if any, I'm I'm looking for a Jaguar. So if anybody has a Jaguar for sale, for a decent price, I mean I can always buy them on eBay, but those aren't decent prices. Those are, <laughs> those are like the whole world is bidding on them. Um, I've put a um, a listing in the marketplace on Atari Age forums. No bites yet, but hoping because I'm thinking, if you've got a Jaguar, you're not selling it because you like Jaguars. Yeah. Maybe if you have three or you ran across another one for a good deal and now it's like, oh, I've got too many. There's not enough room. I'm going to sell one. Um, but in general, that's probably why people aren't selling the Jaguars because they don't want to. Um, okay, what's next? Oh, this is cool. Tanya's not here, but I think I'll show it anyway. She can talk about it next time. Tanya made this awesome thing oh. for me. We'll show it in the cat cam. It's a coaster. Let's see if I can get the light shining on it right. Yeah, you did. Tilt it just a bit. Yeah, there we go. So it's kind of a, it's got a bunch of stars. There you go, pow. And, it, and it's unintentionally shining like this where you have to tilt it. Huh. Because the inlay didn't go flat so it's curved oh. so you can't see everything at once and it's very 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 cool it is cool so she made that from oh, scratch yeah. oh you want me to go back again okay uh well they can kind of get a, a handle on how it's layered yeah, but, that's that's the thing. That's the thing that's causing it is like the base is like. So the work. graphic was laid on the black, and then the the other layer was put on top, but it curled up inside yeah. of the um, inside of it. So yeah, very very nice. It's a coaster uh, for my uh, water that I drink during the show. Oh, I see. It's the actual zero page homebrew part that curled. Uh, another missing rule, do not upload newer work in progress to Argon for the awards. Uh, no, they there should not be newer works in progress. Oh, yes, that's right. Um, I mean, uh, that's it's between them and Argon, really, but don't do that. Um, Darcy's not giving it back. He loves it. He's taking it. It's very cool. Okay. On and like the, the stars are, are... Yeah. Yep. It's nicely done. So... She's going to make a bunch of things, and we're going to give some of those things away as part of Zero Page Homebrew the game. Ah. And when we get around to doing that in March-ish sometime, so it was postponed. Uh, wait, what's going on with our gun? <laughs> well, when you send your game to Argon, they ask you to upload a binary of your game to send, right? So they can post it. But... It needs to be the last 2021 version, not the 2022 updated version, of which there are a couple, not many. So there you go. Anyway, so, uh, and, oh, switch away from that view. Andrew Davey posted this really cool, interesting thing the other day, uh, a while back. We haven't had a show in a while. Um, Okay, he said uh, on January 6th, I thought I'd have a look and see how our Barrios movie cart might handle a Zaxxon display. This is just a uh, video playback of a screen recording of Stella 
playing a screen recording converted to the movie cart. Uh, we'll wrap our heads around that in a second. But the idea is that with some noose, 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 I need to make that bigger, noose, it might be possible to use the movie cart 10 sprite plus color plus background display technology to do a number of vertical format arcade games. Maybe, maybe not. The encoding might be an issue. But in any case, here's a look-see, of course, unoptimized, of what Zaxxon might be like. I think Joe's demo is amazing, though. Okay. Let me break this down for you as I play the video in full screen here. One second. Uh, YouTube. There we go. Okay. Everybody saw the the movie cart where uh, Arberios encoded a movie into a format that the 2600 can stream to the screen okay. using the different pixels and the play field and background and all the different combinations of things. So what Andrew Davey did is he took a recording of Zaxxon being played an arcade recording of Zaxxon being played, encoded it as a movie mm -hmm. for the 2600 movie player. And it's playing a video recording of Zaxxon right now is what you're seeing. Wow. Just like a movie. Now, it it's looks streaming. pretty good. It's right? not streaming, but it's like streaming. It is streaming from a cart on a 2600. Yeah. Now, what he's actually proposing, which is very interesting and is probably going to piss off some people <laughs> and go that's not a real game that's not programming as they've done before for other things is that you take let's say the arcade code for zaxxon yeah. emulate uh run it on an emulator inside a cart say using a raspberry pi and frame by frame Mm -hmm. Taking that each frame in real time, encoding it to the movie cart video codec mm -hmm. and outputting it through the 2600. So, and the, the cart is also reading the 2600 joysticks and importing those joystick commands into the emulator, the mm -hmm. MAME emulator, let's say. Yeah, yeah. So, you're essentially running a MAME emulator inside a cart that translates, transcodes to video that can output. Yeah, you stream it to your 2600. Yeah, you stream it from the cart, yeah. Um, it's it's another. If you, okay, if you're yeah. on Steam, it does what Steam yes. Pl yes. game does, yes. and it streams it. It's yes. like, it's playing on my computer there, I've got it on my phone or my TV or what have you. Yeah. It grabs the controller info, yeah. Yes, basically how v Vec, Vec Fever works, which, um, I have a version of that to play Star Wars and Battle uh, Zone for the Vectrex. It is running an arcade emulator from the actual arcade code inside a Vectrex cartridge and then translating it to Vectrex yeah. visuals. It's doing exactly the yeah. same thing. Um, it's totally interesting and totally valid. <laughs> and the arguments about it not being programmed are also valid, but that doesn't change that it's a different type of interesting and valid, oh, right? It's, it's like so interesting. Like if it was, if it came to the awards, which it doesn't, but if it came to the awards, you would have to have a different category for it. But I, it would I still would be, so. it would still be cool. And and th whether or not it went anywhere would depend on whether it went anywhere, whether it had value that people wanted. Yeah, yeah. And that would solve the answer right there. It, it is a bit weird for the display, though. Is this oh. playable? Hmm probably this is definitely playable yeah a uh, uh, question would be this why is, would you play it this is but, also like, compressed it's totally too. Playable. it would actually look a lot better than this because it's compressed through youtube etc huh. so i'm surprised layers. that it would look better than this it, it would it would look a lot this is, crisper. this is surprisingly um the argument <clears throat> this is an extension of the arm uh, that's running inside um as far as I see it, if you're looking at it just neutrally, this is an extension of C code running it on ARM chip inside a Harmony cart. Um, and then using the 2600 display to display. There's one extra step of yeah. 
re-encoding that as visuals. Yeah. Yeah. It's neat. I don't. No I arms. personally don't see. Uh, right now, no I don't. I don't in this moment see that it would be something people would. Uh, be excited to like play and do in the long run because yeah. Because the reason they're playing 2600 and not some other thing it's is the, the reason they're doing it. But that doesn't mean it's not super cool. It's yeah. super cool. Um, Miss Command says Dragon's Lair, which would be the perfect application for this. Mm -hmm. And they're already kind of working on Dragon's Lair for the 2600. Um, because it's essentially... Did Dragon's Lair use a like, videotape? Uh, it, no, it used Laserdisc. And that's why uh, it was able to do it, because it has... Because videotape would have to fast forward and rewind and find the next. Scene. I know that there was like delays and what have you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so, you could do it with tape by having like an eight track type thing. In this case, you're running a more modern system and have it output through the lesser console video output. Um, yeah, you're running it. You're running another console inside the cart and then just encoding the video to look good on the twenty six hundred. It's more impressive than. It's more, it's, the thing that's impressive is that the 2600 is able to stream video. <laughs> that's the mind-blowing thing. That's the cool part. Yes. That's the cool part. What it's doing is, like, it's, it's, it's a fun puzzle to work out. How would we yes. do this? We get them, oh, we, the, but, like, I don't know that in the end it'll be the new way to play games on 2600, but I, it is super no, cool and, and impressive. There's a lot of barriers to making this happen. The latency mm. would have to be, the, the video encoding on like the processor on that yeah. and the cartridge would have to be super good. Yeah. First, it has to be good enough to run a MAME game yeah. or whatever you're running. Then it has to be fast enough to do real time encoding yeah. of the MAME output <laughs> yeah. into a video and then re encode that again and analyze that again and to put it into a uh, 2600. I don't think yeah. it's going to be possible at all. For the Dragon's Lair, yes, because it, the video is already encoded for Dragon's Lair. It's done. It yeah. just has to translate to 2600. That's yeah. it. And it, it doesn't even have to translate to 2600. It's already encoded in 2600 yeah. format. So Dragon's Lair, perfectly possible. Yeah, reading the joysticks, uh, driving the display. Um, yeah. So it's a lot of work. <laughs> and I don't think it's ever going to be possible. It's a more fun thought exercise, I think, at this point than anything but i thought it was worthy enough to talk about on the show because it's it's crazy it's just a crazy concept uh, i love it <laughs> and andrew davy is always thinking differently about gaming because he, he made that chrono color uh where it's like three colors that combine into one color ah. every three lines is one color and he's made some amazing, amazing games using that. So he's always thinking about different ways of doing it, D making games. Anyway, that that was just blew my mind. Yeah. Uh, That's that was the thing for me. I was like, I was just amazed at how good it looked. Yeah, it looks playable on like, the twenty six hundred. Like I saw, I could understand everything that was going on. Like there were a few artifacts that were obviously. Please note the video is not blurry. The output created by the twenty six hundred is. Mm. Yeah, that, that's that. Yeah. I that I assumed that that was the. Well, the he also. I'm still like impressed. Like, yeah. I I didn't dig deep into whether how good his video capture of the original game was. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was a little blurry, a little bit off, not pixel precise. Mm -hmm. So there are a couple of video encoding steps in there, and also YouTube's output too. Yeah. Because Thrust says, please note the video is not blurry. The output created by the twenty six hundred is. Uh, okay, this other one that I ran across, uh, it was posted a couple days ago uh, by Zlay. He says, hello, I've designed a hardware hack for the Atari VCS. My friend, the Silly Walker, made it. Thank you, Manu. This VCS now has two additional joystick ports, like literally on it. Uh, so we can play four players at the same time. The main idea was to not use any additional electronic components, chips, microcontrollers. So I only have to use the fire five buttons on the console except the on off plus three unused pins in the tia for a total of eight bits four directions for each new player um added a left controller which is the additional left controller add left controller <laughs> light power it's also an add right controller on the opposite side there's the top view of it there's one two three four joystick ports he's modded it for 
composite output. Um, it kind of another way of doing a quad tari, but a little a little bit different. But it kind of permanently wrecks your console, I think. I don't know if the original joysticks still work, or if you can only play four player games. I'm guessing the original what the original joysticks don't still work and don't mess with the others. Yeah, I I would I would hope I would so. imagine that. Yeah. I've hacked a game to be able to fa play four players. So he's hacked surround. And he added two more players into Surround. Hmm. Um, uh, this is not emulatable <laughs> right now. Like yeah. The only way to play this is to do what he did on your system. Um, it hasn't added, been added into Stella. I don't know if it'll ever be. It's kind of more of a fun thing that they did. Um, but you can download the bin and you can emulate joystick inputs, I believe, for it. Um I believe it does work in a manner similar to Quadtari. Um, I think Quadtari constantly checks over and over, like flipping back and forth right, right. between two joystick inputs. Um, this one does not flip back and forth. It's constantly reading those inputs, I think. But anyway, uh, you can read more about this. Um, and nobody replied. I thought it was cool. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, it's super it super cool. cool that somebody actually hacked the. Yeah, I think the Quadtari is more flexible, um, because I this will not work with eight paddles. Well, it, ideally, it, it would be great if it worked the same as Quadtari. Like if the it first would, thing, it would be amazing. Uh, yeah. If Thrust first comment is this another way of doing what Quadtari does? That'd be super. That cool. would be ideal because then it would work with the other things. But uh, yeah, you wouldn't have an. But it's an interesting other way to do it. It's like yeah. oh, they could have put four controllers on an Atari. Is basically they, what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. yeah, they could have. Yeah, like the fifty two hundred did um, initially, and then they got rid of the four controllers. Um, and the next one, this is it. Where is it? There it is. Uh, so Muddy Funster posted this today. Uh, a couple hours ago. I had an idea like this a couple years back when I was thinking about it, releasing a tire tracks as physical slash digital release or a fidgetal. <laughs> I'll get my coat. I wanted to see what I could put together as an option for folks who didn't want a cart as I had a small number of folks ask. I made these mock-ups as a bit of a fun experiment and then put it back in my desk drawer and forgot about it until this reminded me. Here are Here they are in their rough glory. So it looks like he's taken um, a switch case, because that's like the size of a switch. I think he's actually relabeled a switch um, <laughs> cartridge. That's <laughs> awesome. Because I don't know, are the switch cartridge the exact same time as this SD card? It looks like an SD card. Yeah, we'll yeah. say it's an SD card. So I think it's super, super cool way of packaging. But at the same time, I think it'll piss off both camps of people who want a digital and also physical because switches are a bit different custom they're they're similar to sd size but I, I thought they were a bit bigger because the people who want digital are now getting a package which they didn't want to buy and the people who want physical might be okay with it because it is a physical package but also it doesn't include a cart there's no cart you can insert you have to put it into your harmony cartridge which is which is fine a lot of people have harmony cartridge cartridges but uh i don't think it'll satisfy either camp completely um because the rom people just want to download that's it they don't want things on their shelf because it's clutter right this is a good middle of ground but i think there'd be some people who think this would be super super cool like i think it's visually it's very cool um because you get a you don't have a big cart it sits on your shelf very small mm -hmm. But I think it's a nice another experiment to see what people think of it. I want to see what people think of it. Um, I prefer carts, S. Ramirez says. I already buy ROMs, uh, mostly for the Intellivision, um, because there's an Intellivision cartridge that when you buy the ROM, the binary, it's specifically for your multi-cart, your uh, SD multi-cart. Gotcha. It's coded for that. That's why they can do that. Uh... I also like the SD cart too. I'd pay for this, of course. Esther Mears buys almost everything that comes out. <laughs> so he likes collecting things. Uh, Christo930 says, actually pretty good idea. A downside of those, a customer can buy it, copy the ROM easily. 
that is the problem with any binary um and i think it's al's working on a binary buying system for the 2600 and other systems right now for people who want to buy digital copies and people who want to sell digital copies but i think it's going to be a tiered release just like they do with movies it's like theater pay tv then um then it's all you can eat kind of streaming services that kind of tier mm -hmm. so i was going to do box copy wait x months that's what i'm guessing then release the binary after the boxes have sold enough yeah yeah as ramirez keeps me in business phaser cat game says um and Z Z Z I P says oh wow i didn't even notice that was an sd card awesome the concept and look is super super cool yeah yeah oh see i already said it's awesome yeah i don't think i don't know how big of a problem is how big of a problem is pirating mm. when most people who are buying the things are buying them because they want the thing and not because they're desperate to get a copy of the game like i don't mm. think it's actually hard to get a copy of of the games but i don't know like uh, that's why i'm asking well sadly there are pirates out there well i know that this is like, what i'm saying i'm saying there pirates. of course there are pirates yeah. out there there are definitely definitely pirates out there for the so 2600 but no this is what i'm saying yeah. though this is why i'm saying mm. having it easy to copy is uh, like a is almost irrelevant because like if yeah. you want a copy you can get one um if you want a, a pirated copy, you can get one. Like, this is the 21st yeah. century. Like, it's not that no, hard. No, not really. For 2600s, no. Okay. If, well, because, um, that was why I asked. <laughs> because for cartridges, some of them need extra hardware, mm -hmm. like the ARM processor for some of them. Um, some of them have bank switching techniques that are hard to put on cart. Mm. Um, a lot of peop people who buy the cartridges aren't pirates for the most part, like you said. Um but the simpler games do get pirated, unfortunately. Mm. Um, and, but this, and some of them are hard to rip, like to get the binary out of them, um, to extract them. Right, right. Yeah. Mm. Okay. The plus cart SD as an auto start function, if you rename the binary to auto start, it would start a boot. Oh, that's cool. Um, okay. I, what do we have left to do? Nothing but play games. It's time to play some games. So we're going to be playing the first two categories, which are Atari 2600 Best Homebrew Original and Atari 2600 Best Homebrew Port. So grab the joystick. There you go. I have your joystick. Do you want to come over here and hit it? The games. Oh, it's 2 o'clock. We have not played the games yet. Uh oh But we're going to breeze through them pretty quick. Because we're not like playing them like to the extent, full extent. We play. Yeah, we're not going to play them till we, till we get a perfect score. Yeah, or we win the game. You know, um, we're just going to kind of show them off, go through them because we've talked about them, we played them, um, but it'll still be a lot of fun. Oh, press button. Yay. Uh, okay, so today, this is today. It is twenty first. So go to the originals first, and we're going to be playing them in alphabetical order. Uh, Electro Ball, which is actually a two-player game. So, by so much. I better start it quick so I get an advantage. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Atari, you took longer than normal t to start. <laughs> oh, he's bad. Press select or fire. Let's press select. So, let's play two-player. Uh, you're human. I'll be human, too. <laughs> Uh, we'll start off with Spring. That's the easiest. Have you played this before? This one? I, it just looks familiar, so... Maybe. I remember I did play with Tanya. Oh, I so have let's... played this. So I, I am blue. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> After my ugh. Is everything right? I can't... No! No! No, no! Oh, oh you can't shoot. Can I can I? shoot, but I can't score. Oh, oh! Should have been on block. No! Oh, that was so close. Ah, oh, damn! Oh, Woo! That totally was not intended. <laughs> it, it looked like I it would was love super to, intended. I would love to claim credit, but I 
do not deserve any credit for it because that looked really intended and super skilled. Oh, you get oh. Yeah. <laughs> you remembered you had a goalie. Woo! Oh, damn it! <laughs> Three zero. It is kind of like a top-down ball blazer. That is a good observation, actually. Oh my god. No! No, I'm bouncing! No. Oh! <laughs> own door! Score! Own goal self. Score. Can we con comment on the games played without promoting them? Yeah, comment away. Say they're awesome. Say blah, whatever. Just don't <sighs> say vote. Just don't say vote for them. Oh, I was all lined up. Oh, god. No, 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 no. I... No! Yes! That's cheating. You're not allowed to have any points. Rocket League. It's also a take on hat trick. Uh-oh. Cat's, cat's hungry. No! Do you want to give a treat time after after this no. game? No! Oh! I absolutely championed and loved this game when we played it on the show. because it's Oh, yeah. No, no. It's, it's very good. It's so very good. good with two players. Like, the strength. Oh. Because there's momentum. Yeah, the it, momentum it's like is... You're skating around almost. Yeah. Mm. So I'm going to comment on the game, so I'm going to say they're awesome. They're all awesome. Every game we're going to play. Ugh. Okay, we're sound? done. I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> hey! Psst. We're not done. Don't make me... You. Psst. Oh. oh. Now I'm my... Attention's divided. Uh, <laughs> oh, almost snuck in. I don't think there is sound in this. No, oh, I didn't turn properly. No! Oh, just snuck it in. Yeah, you can play uh, against an AI, and the AI is good, too. Like, you can take it from fairly easy AI to pretty challenging. Oh, I kicked it out. I don't know why that went on an angle. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yes! Oh, you're the worst. Or best. My day was going so good and then you <laughs> ruined it with your scoring. I had to get up to speed. Ah, yeah. I don't like it when you're at speed. No game sound. Is there supposed to be? Uh, let me just check. Darcy can uh, take advantage <laughs> of the situation. <laughs> I wouldn't if I wasn't uh, such a comparatively bad player. I can't even see. Oh, no. I can't even see to cheat properly. Oh, no. Sorry. No! Sorry about that. Your big fat head's in the way. Sorry about the being in the way. <laughs> making you not be able to see. Hmm. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Mike says... It, yes, it was also nominated in the sound category. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, uh, is it checkmarked on the... Yeah, they're all open on there. Yeah, video game's good. I think I need to reset something. I'm going to reset the uh, capture. Oh, it didn't come back. Let's... Okay, start the game. What is happening? What is happening? Mm. Yeah, What's happening good. is that you're not playing and I'm still not able to score. Because your stupid wait. technical difficulty. Goalie is right in the middle. Yeah, it is important to have sound in the game when uh, it's nominated for sound category. <laughs> oh, I know. There we go. There we go. Sorry, headphone users. RIP. Because I have a switch now that has 3S video inputs, and I didn't have it on 2600. No sound is a valid artistic choice and should be considered. Best no sound game. Okay, let's play a different... Now, let's play a different uh, field. 
no, 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 no. Humans, humans. Got to revisit the menu music. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're no, you didn't do a field. Again. What are you doing? It's wrong. Pick a different season. Uh, Why are you doing uh, this? Why are you doing this to me? I'm not doing anything to you. You're doing it to yourself. <laughs> no. No. Get. No, no, no. <laughs> You're the worst. We hate you. I... No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's going to be harder for me, too, because things are moving and I have to go on defense. Uh, now. Oh, blocked it. Come on. No. Give it back. No. Oh. I totally did that on purpose. Did you block it? No. Not on what? purpose. How come I dropped the ball? Damn it. Oh, got it back. Oh. I was very pleased. I was very pleased with my shot that time. It didn't go in, but woo! That time it did. Thank you for letting me know about the sound. Oh no 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 no! Oh my God! You're blocking every shot. I'm getting very valid shots. On there we go. Mixed <laughs> mixed time of the year left. You should right. get some credit for the sounds the players make. Oh my god. No, no. No. Get, get it in there. Oh, the goalie almost scored. Damn it. No, no, no. I actually did, uh, I actually did control the goalie that time. <laughs> mostly it's just, it had been random up to this point. And I was like, oh, I was controlling the goalie. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't take it down. Oh, I tried for a quick shot. You were after me. No! <laughs> <laughs> we'll play we'll play more of the title music after. Didn't give it much of a chance. Uh, my favorite thing. That's <laughs> when I'm not the only dumb dumb. Damn it. Oh, I gotta go on. Woo! <laughs> destroying me. Legitimately destroying me. Oh, <laughs> nice. Damn it. No, give it back. No, yeah! <laughs> that was fluky. Damn it. <laughs> no, you, you were skilled at that. You got it. Oh my God. No, I mean, it was fluky as in uh, I did not intentionally deflect. No. Oh, it's almost game over. One, one, one more shot. No, no. Oh, get it in. No. Yes! <laughs> re goalie gets an assist. <laughs> oh, no, there's another time. Okay, good. I won't catch up. That was legit. That was legit goalieing. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Was it? Like, yeah, oh, that nice. was legit goalieing. Good, good yeah. job. Uh, I didn't have time to legit goalie that time. This game makes you push on the joystick more than you probably should because of I the know, momentum. I know. Like when earlier, when you were like, "No, humans," I was like, "No," but I was just like trying to control. I was like practicing not <laughs> jamming the control, the joystick. No, the, the momentum really does like. It makes you feel like you, like, I don't know. It makes you feel like you're controlling the person when you're you have a lot of control over them. That was so. There she's on fire. <laughs> yep. Pull the goalie. I, I... Get it in there. Just shoot. Shoot. No! I'm just icing the, the puck. No. Oh. There we go. Oh, I need two more points to tie, and there's no time left. Is it out? Damn. Oh, no. Oh, I had one more second. I left. won a game! I love how this one is an old school Atari look and feel. It does. Completely. It has, it has really and good gameplay, too. Playability. Yeah, yeah. The playability is like top notch. Yeah, yeah. Let's so listen good. to music. <laughs> I think that's the 
so this um, was nominated in uh, Atari 2600 Best Homebrew. And Atari 2600 Best Music and Sound categories. So, this is what I got. so that was nominated for two categories. And we shall move on. Congratulations <laughs> yeah. to Electro Ball, uh, made by Mike Littow. Which one, Electro Ball? Uh, no, we just oh, played yeah. that. Game of the Bear. These are in alphabetical order. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Escape from the Castle's next. It's just, oh, it's it, because I, of the... I put it in a folder. Yeah, yeah. Now, this one is not available for people to play. Okay. Um, but I do have a copy, and that's how they can evaluate it, through the video that we played before. Um, Jumping happens. And I'll let you play it because... Those look like razors. But is it a swing? Talk about moving goalposts. <laughs> uh -oh, Into the pit. That's acid or lava. I didn't know this was hot lava. Now I know. Like, there are very few instructions for this game, so... No couch really compliance. I can't really tell you. No, it doesn't have couch compliance. We've told the that's developer all right. already. <laughs> that's all right. That's not the only... Uh... Oh! Oh! It's on flight, though. Oh, she does have a good jump. It is good. Uh... I really like electrical, Electro Ball gameplay that rises above the original 2600 cart releases while looking like a nice example of them. Yeah, it has modern uh, feel to it. F I'll tell you. Ah. Oh. Raises the bridge. Which bridge? That's the bridge that uh, you came good. from. I like that. I like that things? you can go this way. Ah, uh, but then a little preview. it's clear that that's not way the the way to go. That's yeah. Neat. yeah, and it tells you, hey, there's a key, but you can't get it. Ha ha. It's not happening. It's just not happening. <laughs> Do you know what's wrong? Uh, what am I doing wrong? You're not. You're not. You're not doing anything wrong. How come I can't jump up there? Because you can't. Okay. You just can't. As far as I know. There may be like a double jump later in the game. So, oh, I see. So I had go up here, and then I carry on this way. Okay, I'm just yes. dumb. I collected that thing. That, <laughs> do I want it? <laughs> I, the That's first one, one way of putting the it. The first one I got by mistake. <laughs> the second one I was like, oh, I, maybe I need these, so I grabbed. It. <laughs> I well, know. if you're, I know to, I'm dumb. If you're willing to sacrifice your health to have them, <laughs> I was apparently. Then you're collecting them. Um, so this has a uh, really nice, like, maze-ish layout with, mystery oh, nice, nice. with the mysteries of what you need to do. The instructions give very little information oh. about... It's an interesting game in traps. which you can only die... Oh, no, because you have a health bar. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't just die the first time. You die when all of your blood is gone <laughs> from your body. So, okay. Well, I've played it, so I can't... I'm only allowed to go so far in this game because I'm. They said don't give away too much. Yes. Control yourself. Okay, we're playing Leo. Do uh, they have different powers? Uh, no, okay. they don't. I was just curious. They have the same amount of. I assumed jumping. they didn't. No, because. Oh, so is that why I was able to jump? Is because that yellow thing? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a extra jumpy high things. Yeah, no spoilers. Yeah, I'm only allowed to go. It I'll, was just it was in the right spot, so I didn't realize. Uh, stop doing that, cat. Oh, you, oh, you got one of them. I, I Do you only need one? one? Yeah, you only need one. <laughs> for the moment. Ah. Oh, well, there, you got a second one now. <laughs> oh. I'm only doing stuff we've shown before. So oh. there's hidden things in, in, in things. That's cool. Yeah. And and you're limited by blood and also a timer. Uh, yes. The timer's timing down, so that's clear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have a timer as well. Uh, what was it? It was not that. <laughs> shuffle, 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 shuffle. I think it's this that raises up, but you can't get back to it right away. Mm -hmm. So I think there's another way to get to it. Oh my God, cat. Okay. 
Sorry? It's coughing. You did it in time with something you did on the game, and I thought that something had happened on the game. TI, the TIA chip is working overtime in the game. <laughs> it's sounding like a cat coughing up a hairball. I need more hidden things in my games, Phaser Cat games. Hidden things in games are cool. I don't think this has anything in it. They do flicker. And they're very hard to stand near, unless you've got oh, rid of I one. Oh, I see those. They are the same donuts. Mm -hmm. Yep. No sprinkles. No sprinkles. But there's health here, so... Okay. You were full, I guess. Yeah. Oh, no, I hit one. Oh. I had not clued in that this was... It looks like just a trap, right? I thought it was a trap, yes. It gets really hard. I think... This is as far as we went. All right, well, you better stop. Uh, if, if I jump to the left, you, you die, as far as I know. But I found out... Um, I did show this on the, on the stream last time. If you jump to the right... Go, go, go. The very last moment... It's a leap of faith. <laughs> and you actually can go into like a hidden area. Uh, and if you go like 255 screens to the right, you loop around to that screen. You loop oh. around to actually other screens in the game. But nowhere you, you haven't been before. Okay. Okay, there we go. That is Escape from the Castle by Vila Games slash Eduardo... Uh, Villarino. Is that nominated for anything else? Uh, so load the next game. Please. Which is I Game do. of the Bear. Um, so it is one nomination for that. So. Oh, the sound is very loud still. I apologize. So Game of the Bear by VHNC Vladimir Zuniga. Um, which is also nominated for Best Music and Sound, as we're listening to. Um, yes, so two nominations for Game of the Bear. Oh my god, you stink cat. <laughs> it's got a nice cutscene in here. Thank You should be thankful that go uh, we, fix. in the 21st century, we don't have smell vision <laughs> Woohoo! Those are some locks that I do not have keys for. Those are some snakes that I am afraid of. But not too afraid. Oh, I see. Button! And I push these blocks. Push! <laughs> Aim the bear of the year! Oh. So, uh, Game of the Bear, VHZC, as always, uh, VHZC makes beautiful, fun, ah, uh, run! Uh, games with ah! very unique characters in them, and enemies, and traps, and fiendish puzzles as well. No! Oh, no! <laughs> And that's a that's a new mechanic that he's added into this where it's uh it's not an on or off, it's like a push a little bit, push as much as you need to push it. No <laughs> Maybe they're lock friendly lock fix locksmith snakes. I would open it a bit more. There you go. The bee. I can't believe I got this far. <laughs> can you duck? You can't. Uh, yeah, and I think you do need to. Otherwise, that stinger would get you. <laughs> I can't believe I'm still alive. <laughs> Another scary snake. So, you're going to deal with it on this end or the other end? 
Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Two more lives left. No, no, that's not the way you that's do it. That's not the way you do it. <laughs> you either have to deal with it on this end or the other. Probably this end's easier because then the timing, you can do the timing. Mm, jumping or falling? Mm, jumping gave you quite a bit of time. Nice. Pumpkins. You can see they're, they go smiley and frowny <laughs> as they pass through. Very, very cool. Yep. I was just appreciating the uh, frowny and smiley. Some good graphics. Some good graphics. Which it is nominated for. Oh, I was tricked. Oh. I see you tricked bear of the year. Evil pumpkins. <laughs> no, you keep it. We're going to the next one. Okay. So if you want to see full playthroughs, just look back in the archives um, when we play it. We're just going to blast through them. So it's uh, Mr. Yo-Yo. F in the chat. <laughs> okay. Have you played this oh, before? Oh, yeah. So don't let them touch you. Those but it's guys, just me. They can touch my string. Those guys can touch your string. Uh, Other guys can't. Scissors can't. Scissors can't. Oh, no. Yeah. Was that a scissors? You can shoot left and right, remember. No, those weren't scissors. That was oh, like okay. a bat. This one has very unique gameplay because Darcy is not positioning himself. You can either go down or up. Pressing the button goes down, letting go of the button goes up. Mm -hmm. So you can't hold yourself in the middle. Like if you tap the button a lot, you could. Yeah, it's a very, very unique and neat concept. Oh. So, those, those guys come quick. Mr. Yo-Yo is nominated for Best Homebrew Original and Best Music and Sound Original. Darcy is nominated as the worst game. Play. I can't shoot and control my Yo-Yo, apparently, is the thing. That's my, my fatal flaw is trying to shoot things. <laughs> oh, you're still going. Oh, no, you're not. My turn. <laughs> I am locksmith snakes. I am not good at this <laughs> game. I just have to tell you. I'm okay, but it's I'm very, not it's good. It's very, it's a very different. Um, oh, God damn. Like it's very novel. Yeah. Controls like up down and shooting to the like. It's, I've never seen anything like it. Like, Neither have I. I've never played. I mean, anything it reminds like me it. a tiny bit of Aardvark. Yes. It, but only like the in, retraction. Yeah, only in that things coming from the side and you have to pay attention to your strings. Yes, that would be the closest. Yeah. So on the second level, you have to shoot things to get the note. Oh! Ah, I'm missing cool things. See, now the note appears, and you can yeah. take it up top. Yeah, oh. I reached that point yeah. where I had to shoot a thing to get a note. Yeah, you did. You started, oh, coins. And there's also power-ups where things go crazy, and then there's bonus levels as well. And I suggest reading the instructions for this one, because there's a lot to it. Yeah, I, uh... Yeah. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> so the scissors haven't arrived yet, is that correct? No, that's when I die. They move slower? Uh, no, they move fast. It's brutal. Mm. So is, is it quite, like, luck-based in terms of when you're... You must have enough time to get away if you see them. Um, you kind of want to... move pretty quick. You want to hover near the top, really, when the scissor levels. That That's my strategy, because if you're down at the bottom, you're going to you're gonna die. And you just go down and get the note from the scissor. You go, oh, get it, come back. And, and, but you must be able... To, if it must be possible to react, otherwise, yeah, I, it, it would. I think they're about the same speed as these guys. Otherwise, oh, it wouldn't God. be skill. You know what I mean? Like, Damn it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, there's strategy. Okay, there's these blue guys, which are a Ooh. nightmare. This oh, is they bounce off your string. They and bounce, then, and they go faster, right? Uh, they go faster. They bounce off your string. They also bounce off the screen too. Yeah, yeah. So you have to kill them. Yeah, once they're there, they stay till dead. I want to play it yeah. again, actually. <laughs> What's that? 
Actually, we can start at level three. Let's go right into that one again. Oh, oh. god, this is not level. I didn't make it to level three. I, I think those are the guys that cut. Oh, there's the scissors. So you have to kind of deal with this guy first. But I have to shoot at somebody anyway to get a... Uh, get a note. And the note's gone. Ah! Can you yeah, shoot they're... scissors? Oh, yeah. Suck it, scissors! It's so hard. I apologize. <laughs> it is a hard game. I did set it to a hard level. But I also suck at this game. Uh, those, those green ones look like uh, goblin sharks. They do. Once they're bouncing, it's so hard. It's hard, yeah. <laughs> there, there's an example of this. <laughs> okay, you want to play again? Or are you good? We're good. We got okay. it. We got it. Power through! Okay, third game, or fourth game, what are we on? Fourth game, Sly, Sly Boy in Maceland by BHZC, Vladimir Zuniga. 2600 edition. Mm -hmm. Beautiful graphics. Yeah. Uh, this is nominated for best graphics as well as best homebrew. You might want to go easy, just to make it easy. Um... It's also nominated for Best Music and Sound. So, did it do a sweep? Yes. It's nominated in every category that it could be nominated in. And Ivory Tower Collection says, I'm kind of familiar with this game. Yeah, he played it a lot. I like it. So, yeah, this did I've, a I've, I've sweep of every category it could be in. Which is three. For 2600. Yeah, I think those are spikes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't touch those. Easy just gives you more time. It doesn't make it the maze easier or the obstacles easier. Nice. And you have to go back. Nope. Oh! I did not think ahead. I <laughs> charged. It's, ahead. Yeah, this, this one doesn't have too much, like, things aren't going after you. You just have to time things so that you don't run into them when you're around the area. It's all about finding the quickest time to get the highest score. Yes. And knowing safe spots in the maze, too. It's like, yeah. oh, that's a safe spot, then I move to the next safe spot, next safe spot. I've only managed to do a no-death run on this maybe twice. Pfft, wow. I can't remember how many levels there are, but there's a lot of levels, enough to keep you very busy. <laughs> Happy there? <laughs> Uh, I just wasn't. I was just trying to figure out where I had to 40 go. screens? That sounds about right. Oh, time's going down. Nice! Ding! Woo! And the beautiful VHZC font, which is outlined numbers. I really like the colors. Like, I love. <laughs> the colors are the great. The colors. There's <laughs> the purple, the greens, the blues, no. the bo very bold colors. That is a huge strength of the Atari 2600. It has such a great palette of colors. So you need to press a button. For what? For Oh, that button. Yeah, yeah, yeah to yeah, yeah. make the exit. Oh, that was like a pixel away. Well, nice. that's just how that one is. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's just enough time, right? If you run out of time, you die. You lose a life. Oh, okay. Yeah. So th there is a time element to it. It's not just yeah. points. It's... Yeah, because it, it, there needs to be a time element to this. Oh, yeah, that's a death spot. Because otherwise, you just you could take too much time. Nice. Made quick work of that. The font for the level is cool. The huge font on the screen and how it goes off the screen. Am I going too far? Uh, too far? No, 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 no. There's no spoilers on this. People have played this tons. We played this not to the end, very close-ish. It's a hard game to, to finish. Oh, I know. Oh, I see. 
Oh, oh I, I, I forgot. I forgot that. to time. Yeah, yeah, I do <laughs> that too on this game. Darcy compatible game? Yeah, pretty compatible. Yeah. It's funny that you have to like. Oh my god, that was close. On purpose. Nice. And it counts up like VHC is is like I, such I a really nice. like the the coloring on the, like I just the gradiated color like it's very pleasing to my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Most VHC games are like that. It's just uses great colors. Um, uh oh, oh right, this one. It's a platform. I have trouble with that platform timing that out, but. Yeah, that was lucky. I mean, I, I was aiming for it, but <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very small amount of time. It's, it's interesting that like the moving thing on the screen isn't there to kill you. Let me check my my delivery of my TV. Let's see where they are. Oh, 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 oh! It's like five blocks away. Uh -oh. What if he's delivering another person's? I'm gonna keep this up. <laughs> That looks like they're coming for me. Maybe they're eating lunch. I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, very polished game, Master Mares, for sure. I was very happy that he finished this because he has a lot of games on the go, VHZC. Pause functionality is cool. Oh. oh, is that what the zero, what the button is? Oh yeah, that's so good. Press it. Yeah, that, <laughs> I was like, why does it? Very first thing that happened, I pressed the button. It right. went blank, and I was like, I didn't see pause at the bottom, which is. It's like you can pause, boy. but you're not getting any advantage. <laughs> well, you. It's so good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But you could go pause, 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 and kind of see it. Sure, if you want to, if you want to cheat, but, <laughs> you know, you know, you did that. You do. <laughs> You're only deceiving yourself. <laughs> you might be deceiving others, but so really, it it stops the timer and turns off the play field and everything but your character, and it's a very very simple simple thing to program, but really effective. And and it doesn't allow oh. you to move until you press the oh, button no. either. Da, da, da. No, you're smart. You did it without dying. Come here. I find the pause to screw with my timing on each board, so I never use it. Uh, lots of touches in this game. Yeah, VHZC is all about the finishing touches. It's treat time. Yum, yum, oh, yum, yum. Somebody oh saw you. Come on the screen. Wow. Well, I better pause the game. <laughs> oh, true. Well, we can move on. We've, okay. We've seen enough. So if you yeah, wanna... no, the pause is, uh, I, I just, it's a really nice touch. I mean, obviously, like, thank you to the game uh, would be uh, great if it didn't have pause, but it's like, that's a nice, that's a nice touch. Oh, did thank you, you to the... Ivory Tower. Did you press the collections? Ding -dong? Yeah. Oh, not yet. Press it. You know the rules. Come on, don't be a ding dong. Be a, be a ding dong. <laughs> Do ding, a ding, ding dong. Don't be a ding dong. There oh. we go. Good kitty. I think the robot lady outdid Darcy in loudness. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's volumes I have to set at certain times. And, oh my God. Sometimes they're muted. Sometimes they're too quiet. Did he, he didn't ding again, did he? No. Okay. He's he's waiting. Come what on. is it you think happens here, dum-dum? <laughs> <laughs> Smart kitty. <laughs> I like the pause. Never know when you'll need to answer the call of the wild. Yeah, I mean, it's, oh, it's a great... It's so good way of doing the game and it was just so he other, was like overhearing he just went bang other people <laughs> should take note of how he did pause yeah yeah because he just put pause on the screen blanks some things and stops things from progressing you, it's you really gotta, great you gotta make the sound no it's kind of come on try it again do it go again on, do it again he's like i press the button dum-dums Yay! Oh, there we Atari go. came in because it was time to train the humans. <laughs> the humans train humans. <laughs> there you go. 
I don't mean to steal all the the uh, cat giving, yeah. cat treat giving. If you uh, want to do it, then uh, too bad. So we're gonna play one more in the best homebrew original before moving on to the ports. Okay, he's had enough. There you go. Okay, we we'll just gotta have we'll one keep more. Keep moving. One more. Okay. Because uh, go ahead. I didn't take the bell. Go on. Ding ding. Dum dum. <laughs> there we go. The bell has been absconded That's how you with. Do it. <clears throat> This is how we do it. <laughs> okay. Next one, uh, Zark Stars. And this one also does not have a demo, so observe. This one is nominated for. Turn it up a little bit. I love that title screen. Is it nominated with the, for with the drop uh, shadow? music and uh, sound? It is nominated for everything. It's nominated for graphics. It's nominated for music and sound. And it is also <clears throat> nominated for best packaging. 100% oh, wow. clean sweep wow. in nominations for Zark Stars. So congratulations to Leandro Camara. And Hiator Massel. You have to shoot it. Shoot the top little... Uh... Yeah, you die. It's kind of an unforgiving intro to this game. <laughs> it's like literally game over. You have to shoot the little top thing there. Okay. A bunch of times. Shoot it. No, shoot that little blue thing. There you go. Oh, I see. Ah, okay. It's for advanced players. It's a brute. You're dying. Start shooting. Oh, I, I didn't you. realize that I uh, was not. I was waiting for. Charles Whelan says very harsh game. That's an understatement. Oh, it's, yes, it is. It's. <laughs> it's for advanced players. Or. If you put enough practice about understanding the dodging, it is not couch compliant either, unfortunately. There should be a couch compliant. Uh... God, you reset it. You're the one who died. You play. I'll okay. reset it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't even shoot the little doot doot. I'm definitely not an advanced player. <laughs> <laughs> It's a brutal shooter. Oh yeah, there's a lot going on. Wow. There's a ton. Yeah. And it looks good too. Look at the smooth scrolling of the big thing on the top and the bottom. Yeah. That's unusual because you're thinking that looks like Playfield. It's not Playfield. It's mm -hmm. a player character. Um, because it's not in the same plane oh, as yeah. the enemies. The enemies stay so, off it. So, so you can use yeah, yeah. Um, and it's a big player. It is very, very wide. It's like um, double wide or quad? I think it's quad. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so beautiful. You're such a Darcy. You have to time up. Oh, that plane disappeared. Or did I shoot it? I guess I shot it. So you can see the tracker at the bottom of where you are in the. Um, yeah, maze. yeah, that's cool. And you can speed up, but it's oh. hard. It makes it more hard. Like if I go like that and hold it forward. Hmm. I'll do one more. It is the scrolling is great. It's super smooth. The game is not S. Ramirez compliant. <laughs> really? You're not uh, an expert at this as well. He dominates every game. Oh. oh. Okay. Let's try and at least make it to the first. Ah, oh, not at this rate. First boss. I think holding forward will make it go a lot faster. <laughs> Just have to time it out. Oh my God, that was close. Ah! I'm even a quarter of the way. Oh, God. Stop being terrible. Oh, why am I slamming into the ceiling? That is not allowed. <laughs> That's just like the worst I know, way to die. You guys were talking about how brutal it was, and I was like, oh, I just hit the ceiling and died. <laughs> it's even more brutal than I thought. Don't. Don't, don't, don't. Watch that cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the water spray down here. <laughs> Nudge him away from the, uh, if he keeps doing it. I'm going to make him leave. <laughs> 
It says, your hisses are nothing against my need for chewing on this cave hole. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, not completely. Oh, that cup gave him a little scared. That was pretty funny. <laughs> cup gave him a scared. He tapped the cup and it rolled ah! back and he was like, ah! I scared myself! <laughs> they do give you a lot of lives. Um, which is a nice thing. No, no, no. Oh, no! <laughs> One life left. I'm not even close. No! Okay. Yeah, he, he left. He uh, wanted to go back, but he was like, no, I got in trouble. The way you were able to see all the zones, it does reset your score each time you continue. Oh, can you continue? That's right. That's how we were getting through it. <laughs> if you don't care about score, you can keep on pushing through. So we will get to the boss. Uh, I forgot about that. We're not... We don't have the instructions. There's too much stuff to, to get through for instructions. You gotta, you gotta dodge those green things. They're bullets. Oh my god. You know, see, they oh. kill you when they hit you. Oh, okay, that's is what I'm doing wrong. Which one is it? Can uh, you select? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Ivory Tower Collections. Oh. <laughs> that's for me. I almost broke my flight switch on this thing. <laughs> oh, punishment time. Watch, watch how the boss comes in. It's... I make it. Jeez! Ah! You cannot... Oh, you can continue with the boss. Good. Sorry, the, did you... Sorry, are I, you at the boss? I defeated the boss. Oh, I didn't see the boss. No, the first boss is... Easy. And the second level is easier than the first level because there's not turrets. Oh, the turrets aren't shooting? There is a, a middle shot coming in, though. Every once in a while, that oh, green yeah, thing. Yeah. So and the ships are shooting. Oh, were they shooting me? No, they weren't shooting before. Yeah. So it's it's different. I, d yeah. I think it's easier but because... It, it, yeah, the cro those bullets that came down from the turrets, the green slashy bits, they, they give you a crossfire. And, and it does yeah. make it hard. You're... Yeah. Because it's in an angle. It's like, oh, I gotta figure out angles. Oh, well, that's what crossfire math. is. Like, you've heard of, they got caught in a wicked crossfire. Yeah. It's like bullets coming at you. So it's like, if you have like a force moving forward and the enemy is shooting right at you, yep. some of you, some of your people are gonna get through without being killed. Right. But if they're cr firing across like this with a stream of bullets, it's nobody can get through. It's that's why covered. it's brutal. Yeah. Right. Everything is covered, every angle's covered. Uh, when I played the game the first time on the show, uh, well, I can't hear it anymore, but the music on this level sounds almost exactly like the band, the, the song the For A Forest by The Cure, and the, um, the developer confirmed that it, it was, it was uh, inspired by that song. Like, it kind of sounds like it, not completely. So I should make it to the second boss and promptly die. So when you continue, you don't get all your lives. You only get three. Oh, here's the boss. Oh my god, I can't remember what this boss is about. Oh, no, it's the same. Oh, it's the same. Okay. Oh, crossfire again. Maybe it's the boss at the end of the level. That's oh, what the, I was... the, the uh, purple bullet turns red when you kill the purple oh. ship. What happens to the green bullet? When the green guy, yeah, turns red. They turn red when they die. That's interesting. Is that because that character is about to come back and the color gets reserved? Oh, it turns purple. It's it's just programming. No. It, it could it can it can stay the proper color, but it just doesn't. <laughs> so this one is actually for sale. Um, I don't know if they have any left. I'm not sure. Let's just make it to the first boss, and then die. I think the problem, if you make it to the first boss, you cannot reset. So really, you want to reset just before the first boss. Ah! I should die. Okay, I'm gonna die. Good. I think I did it. 
before the boss. Yeah. Boss is coming. Oh no! Should die again. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay, die on purpose. Die on purpose. <laughs> Last time I played, I had like one life and we saw the boss for like a second. Mm. Still gonna be a problem. Ah, oh, I gotta die again. Quick, quick, die. <laughs> it's a funny strategy, but you know, it's, it's helpful. Oh, there's so many bullets. No. Because now the ships are firing. Oh, there's the boss. Looks like a torpedo. Oh, did I get him? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got one of them. One of them. Oh my! Wow! Whoa! Wow! <laughs> there's all. <laughs> I died. <laughs> it's so hard. And you can't continue it during the boss? Cool. Well, you continue at the beginning of that level. You can't continue at the boss. So. Super fun. Very good graphics. Very good music. Very good packaging. That's why I was nominated for all the things. Now we're going to go... And that's all the origin, right? Yeah, all the original uh, games. Uh, congratulations again. So we're going to go on to best uh, homebrew port, and there are four of those. So we're going to do Awakening by Rodney Siddall. There it is. What was? <laughs> Awakening. Oh. I screen. just saw it. those are hearts above skulls. Uh oh. You're gonna die. And this is a port of Link's Awakening. So you want to go get those dots and continue on and find the room with the boss, I think. So this is nominated for best homebrew port and best graphics died. port and best music and sound port. The sword is challenging to use because it extends just a bit past your body. And also it's like really close to your body. It doesn't like stick it's out. It's to keep people to like you right. from just like never ever dying. Oh, delivery's on the way it said. It actually hasn't moved. I think they're eating lunch there or something. Only eight minutes left. Yes. For what? Continuing from the third section. Make that seven minutes. To what? What's happening in seven minutes? Uh-oh. Till three o'clock, I guess. <laughs> Estramere says, I have Zark Stars number 42. Get that dot. Oh. Phone call. I think things are happening. Call from one seven seven eight three. Hello. Yeah. Oh, excellent. I will. Uh, yeah, I've died several times and not okay. noticed. The TV is here, so. Oh. I feel died. free to continue on playing the games, and you can read what their names are and what they're nominated for. I'll be right back. Nice try, Skeletor. Uh-oh. Oh, I died. Okay. I'm in charge! <laughs> ah! uh, no, that's not how it works. You guys won't like it when I'm in charge because I don't know what I'm doing. Now we're playing Ladybug Arcade. Who wrote this? Oh, so random. <laughs> Wait. Okay, it's not that crazy. <laughs> uh, Ladybug Arcade by Champ Games. John Champo, uh, Code Design, uh, Nathan Strum. Did art and graphics, Bob DiCrescenzo, uh, 
Uh, music and sound effects. Nathan Strom, packaging and illustration and design. I said words. Uh, okay. I don't normally know what I'm doing. Why would I start now? Good luck. I will need it. trying to kill me and I'm I'm like you're out of save. It's making me nervous. Like why is no one trying to kill me right now? It must be like easy mode level or something. Level one nobody tries to murder the ladybug. That's later. Oh now now they want to murder me. When James isn't here, I don't say anything, right? He's not doing anything to make me react. <sighs> I don't know. Would he say anything if I wasn't here? He'd, be, he'd, he'd find something to say. Be something about Atari, probably. Not you, buddy. You're good. As long as you don't try to eat that cable. It's interesting that it gives you so much time before the game starts I'm trying to murder you. In this case, by lobster. That's my lobster. That's unique. No! Why do I think that's not... Yeah, that looks like a lobster to me. Or like a... a what do you call it? One of those shrimp that, like, have... When they snap their claws, it's, like, faster than the speed of sound. And they kill with a shockwave. Hello! Do you have a television? Yeah, it's big. Oh, you didn't have to check too much because it was snapped in half? Yeah, it was completely broken in half, so <laughs> I saw all the insides of it. My turn to play Ladybug? Uh, yeah. <laughs> So, it's been um, a while since I played this. Oh, this is level three. Oh, okay. Because I played level it one or two. Oh, it went red. <laughs> oh, it's, those are mantises. Well, that's what they look they like are. to me. Oh, yellow. So oh, you... sorry. Ah. What is the rule? Because I couldn't oh. quite see along the top where there's a red area. Oh, oh damn it. Um, so you want to get see. the hearts when they're blue because that's the multiplier. See, it goes up to three times now. And you want to get the num the letters when they correspond to the right uh, colors when you want them. Right. And then you get bonus points. And you want to get the skull? Never. Never get the skull. This is a masterpiece of a Avoid game. Avoid humans at all costs, even when they're dead. So John Shampoo made this game a long time ago. Um, but this is a completely updated version of the game. Um, that gets it a lot closer to the arcade uh -huh. um, with tons of enhancements. Because um, 
the the layout is close to the arcade. Um, ah, ah, <laughs> one more dot, one more dot, one more dot. Um, the mantis went on the skull oh. and it died. I can't wait for Robin Banks too. That looks really, really good. Yeah, they. Did you see that? You can get them to go into the skulls. Yeah, and, and then they die instead. That was awesome. Yeah. That's what you want. Blue, blue. Yes. Extra is this one yellow. from a top-down pers uh, perspective looks like a tri trilobite. <laughs> yeah, we tried to make up names for them and figure out what they were. And some of them are a little bit more challenging. This one does look a tri like a trilobite. Only top-down, and one of them looked like a mantis squid. That's what it was. A mantis, mantis squid. squid. Oh. Uh, not mantis squid. Mantis oh. shrimp. Oh, mantis shrimp. Yeah. And it could be. Ooh, I do want that in red. Yeah, not yellow. E in yellow. And this in blue. And what you want to do is clear out the dots around where they come out of mm -hmm. first, which I didn't do, because ugh, just turned yellow. Yep. It um, did, because it gets true. harder. As oh goes yeah, on, yeah, yeah. You have out. a while where it's like pretty clear. They're not trying to kill you at all. Yeah. In the first level, like. If I knew what I was doing, I might have had it half done by the time. What's the backstory up? to explain all the bug-sized human skulls lying around? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a big war, a uh, very scary, terrible thing. To <laughs> Are they bug-sized? Uh, that's just the that's just the shell of a ladybug. Uh, um, it looks like a human skull, but uh, they died from being poisoned, and so when you eat it, well, the poison's still there. The way. Exoskeleton of a ladybug. Yeah. Uh, See, I need that. Extra. Extra life. Extra life. You won the extra ladybug. So you didn't have this kind of stuff in the original that he put out? There's all these cool stuff. Pretty cool. Can you figure out what it was nominated for, please? Uh, already said that. Did you? That's awesome. Oops. <laughs> it was a whole thing. Oh, oh it's turning on me. Try and get special. It's more fine proof of what really happened with Rick, Rick Moranis. <laughs> <laughs> the sordid tale of... Are they bug-sized skulls or skull-sized bugs? Ooh. Honey, I... I'm going with bug-sized skulls. Yeah. I and I, that's true no matter what. Embiggened the, the, uh, the bugs. Before or after Starship Troopers. <laughs> <laughs> Now, these are the ones that I saw as being uh, lobsters or mantis. Uh, they do are lobster-like. Oh, can I get that? Oh, things are moving fast. And the longer you take, the faster they move. And they move faster than you? Uh, I think they do now. They That's always a thing faster. in video games where it's like, okay, at first, they're slower than you. Much, much slower. Ah. But in this game, ah. you can uh, <laughs> send them... Trouble. Block them. You can block them, and so speed is not the only factor, whereas in some games... Oh, is. and there's a bonus in the middle after they all uh, go out. And in the previous one, it would have been a tomato, I believe. Mmm. I should play out. Oh, no, it's going to turn. Uh, of course it does. And the green line is a timer, I guess. It's just uh, a visual representation of the time passing. A timer until the next bug is released. I believe. And when the things turn color as well. Or any color in general, right? And as time goes faster, it's it's harder to get certain colors because they're only on the screen for a certain amount of time. Right, That's right. Gonna, oh my god. Oh, I don't think that he had anything to do with it. Well, no. You can blame him anyway. It's easy to blame. Uh -oh. oh, it's in my first time. I think so. Mm -hmm. Might be. Adorable! Uh, JS. What's JS? Joystick? What's CX-52? Oh, that's a joystick. That's the okay, so... The stock... Oh, no! CX-52. It's a 5200 joystick. Yeah. Uh, They're notoriously the worst joystick ever made. Because... There's almost a zero chance of finding one that's functional, that's been unmodded from original. Ah. Because they just break. Break, break, break. I have like six of them, and none of them work. And I Angel wings. 
Ever since I did a trackball game, people ask for it on every game. Well, trackballs are cool. They're one of the coolest input devices, and so few consoles have trackballs. Oh my god, 20 minutes. This is where I die. Oh, I want that. No, I can't get to it. It's gonna turn. Did I get it? You did. I did. Wow. Oh. It brought it? you to times two full times didn't. nothing, right? What do I need? Uh, I, don't, I don't need the eye. Doesn't even matter. I guess it matters if you finish the other ones first, and then. Yeah. Maybe it matters in a. Oh my god. Oh. Well, it's like if you got the C and the L and then E and the X, then that one, if it was there, would be around for you to get it again. Right? Mm. Yes. Yes. That's true. Uh, I need this in more. Not that long, because things go pretty fast. But the longer you wait, the more bugs come out. Bye bye bug. Bye bye bug. Bye baby. Bye bye. Hurt. Over there when it's perfect timing. Bugs. Oh, ah, nice. bye buggy. Bye bye buggy. Nah. Last life, I think. I don't have a 5200 trackball, unfortunately, so I don't know what I'm going to do for 5200 trackball games. Uh, I have a ColecoVision rollerball. Uh, trackball. Okay, uh, where are we? Cat. That was oh, game two. It's a cat trap. Okay, reset. Robot War, 2684. Should I break out the dual controllers? We'll just play on single controllers. What do you think? What should we do? Uh, we'll play two players. Yeah, we'll play two players. So that we can just keep these joysticks in. Left joystick, right joystick. So, can you select two players? Um, oh, do I have to do it? I think I have to do it. Oh. No, up, down, left, right. No, nothing. How do you do it? Oh my god. If I press the button, it's just gonna start, right? I think so. Try it. Yeah. What is happening? Am I stupid? Is it maybe only single player in the demo? Oh uh, yeah. It's a demo. That's why. That's why. Just the demo version. It's going to be limitations. So if you two players. shoot everything before you collect the humans, is that bad? It's not bad, you just don't get the bonus. We'll assume the humans escaped. Okay. You know, you shoot all the bad guys. Uh, and I thought maybe off. that it did, in fact, do that. Um, but you can save them beforehand and get a couple of points. Yeah. Most of my games use the analog control. Robin Banks won't. I do have an analog stick for the 5200. I do have fully ready 5200 setup, except I'm upgrading my 5200 right now. It's upstairs. Um, I haven't had time because of the awards to do that, but now that they are... Well, I still have a lot to do with the awards, because I have to do a bunch of graphics and get things ready for the presentation, which is mostly a lot of graphics. Yeah. My turn. Somebody at Atari must have th thought ribbon cables are the best thing since sliced bread. It's the only way to explain 50 pointers controllers over in Ever Engineering. Let's do this. I'm glad you can't accidentally kill the humans. Yeah, that would be. There they would go all they the time. Would, would, uh... Well, I guess it doesn't matter if you, if they did, it would be harder, and then you would like learn how to deal with that. True. Yeah. Ah, two joysticks are better. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, oh, I see. So two joysticks is one single player, two joysticks. Um, is that what you're saying? 
I think that's what's happening. Um, I could play with two joysticks, but I'm gonna grab it. Uh, let's see if this works. Uh, it's not great because they're unbalanced on my <laughs> leg. This is a kind of a, a mess. Did anybody else notice that he still <laughs> completed the, the level without dying once he picked up the second joystick? It's about equivalently as bad. <laughs> it's not equivalently as bad. You're doing better somehow. <laughs> it's so... Because you were dying before. I was. And now you're not. As much. A twin as stick much. 5200 exclusive. Space dungeon. Oh, I'm still alive. The game wasn't making noises. Oh, you have to kill the, uh... Kill everything. The brain. Oh no, brains! Do they, like, turn people into them? They turn people into zombies that go nuts. I knew there was something about those brain things. You don't want to let the brains touch the humans or they get super speed and they go crazy. That's why, that's why the extra human... Oh, the humans are worth a lot of points! Oh, oh maybe they're not, though. There's one. It's gone crazy. To the zombie land. have to kill them at that point. My other misery. No! You can rescue him in mid when they're being changed. Yep, I guess it takes a lot of effort. They gain the superpowers without becoming full vampires. <laughs> That's right. Ah! I'm gonna try to put a co op in Robin Banks. Yes, please, that would be so awesome. Can't wait to play it on the show once I've got my 5200 modded, which would be probably around the time you're finished, ready to demo the game. I would hope, I would hope, if you would like me to demo it on the show. I've been following your progression. Must save human. There, now I can do it. I think I've looped around once wave two again. Because <laughs> it has limited levels. Yeah, it's a demo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is a good example of how um, you can put out a demo. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Be limited. Don't play, don't have two players, and you know, limp, only show the first X levels. Yeah, and making a demo is probably not all that difficult, right? No, it's your game, except you just throw you a little code in it that keeps you from going to the next level. It loops you to the beginning or whatever. And remove those levels in case there's some hackers out there that just go, "Oh, we'll just skip this part." So I don't know if he actually like physically removes it out of the code. Or if there's a way to get everything back in. Okay, next game. If you want to re, I'll reset. That is obviously an astounding achievement in 2600 programming. Oh, it's amazing! Yeah, it, yeah to be really able great. to have that many things on the screen. And we're down to the last one. Square Raid by Ben Larson. That was Robot <clears throat> Robot War 2684. I mean, unsurprisingly, they're all really good. <laughs> well, yeah, they're all good. Which is nominated for best uh, homebrew port. And best happening. graphics port, and best music and sound port. Oh, oh my god, that was cool. The the uh, gravity on this game is super super cool, and is and it's got that per, that blue perspective, and it's almost neon like in the way that. Where's the enemies? Oh, there they show up. Um, neon like in the colors he chose. Um, to portray the, I don't know, the the horizon. And it gets crazy with the number of bullets that are on the screen eventually. And it's, and it's really, really cool how this game can handle that many bullets all at once. Yeah. And the gravity and the movement of the bullets. Can I kill myself? Uh, by your own Running, bullets? Yeah. I don't think so. Look at that title screen. That's Hang so awesome. Out. Yeah, great use of colors. Elegance. Yeah, that's a perfect yeah. word for this, Carl G. It is an elegant, elegant game. Yeah, yeah. Super, super simple. Your enemies are blocks. Their bullets are dots. The horizons are lines. It's just beautiful and elegant. So Square Raid was nominated for Best Homebrew Port. No. Uh, best no. Graphics oh my Port. God. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if you think, you go... This was nominated for best graphics port? Yeah, because of that exact word, the elegance of it. It's blocks and lines and dots. But still it got nominated for best graphics. So it's it's not that 
it's, you it, have, the, the graphics are appealing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're so beautiful. And the title screen, of course, is gorgeous. Zen-like. It is. It's super fun to play. Um, and it was also nominated for Best Music and Sound. Port. Are you dying? Yeah. I like it, though. It, it takes, you know, it takes practice to get used to... Uh, I'll keep it on easy. And there's works. gravity. You have to keep yourself up. Yeah, yeah. And you get a point for everything. There's acceleration that's provided by you and also by the planet. That you can strafe. Or the whatever. And you can send your bullets up and then they come back down again. Yeah. It's so cool. It's really cool. And you can have so many bullets. Like, look at that. Just How do they do so many bullets? Because they're all on different lines. The so they're just players? They're not... Uh, they're, they would be... Um, what would they be? I haven't analyzed it. But they could be balls. Actually, they're probably balls. They can have lots of balls? Uh, as long as there is only one per line. So if you watch, when they cross over, they flicker. Hmm. But because they're moving all the time, you don't notice. Yeah, yeah. That's why you can have like 50 bullets on the screen at once. And they're so small. Impossible skill level. Yeah, watch this. Uh, <laughs> their bullets are so fast. Strafe. Oh, I got. Oh my God. Yeah, you it's want It's very it? hard to hit them. It is. Like, even though you have a bunch of bullets, you can cluster. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. It's shocking how hard it is to take them out. There we go. I don't know. Do they have to be hit several times? Sometimes it seems like a bullet lands in their zone but doesn't kill them, and other times. No, it just. Like, like there. Well, uh, maybe. I feel like do. you hit him multiple times before he died. Let me just try it with one bullet. We'll verify that it actually... No, oh, one did it. Yeah, I was just missing it. It must be just that, like, I think it's hitting and it's not. Yeah. It's getting close. I will be purchasing this game. I need this in my rotation. Oh, yeah, this is beautiful. Beautiful game. I haven't seen any mention of it being released on card, but I think it deserves it. Was there a mention in the... Forms of this going on cart? I don't know. You're not asking me. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> don't you peruse the forums like every day, like I do? Well, I I'm actually doing surprisingly well. You're doing better in impossible, impossible <laughs> skill level than you were on like normal skill level. <laughs> I'm getting used to it, I guess. I'm barely dodging the bullets, but that's all you can do on impossible. You're barely dodging because of the momentum. Ah! Yeah. You only get one life? Yeah. Yep. Wow. I last that long? Oh my and, God. And, and uh, you did way better. <laughs> no, you're dead. Done. Uh, yeah, so that is it for today. So we ran through all the Atari 2600 Best Homebrew Original, Atari 2600 Best Homebrew Port. We announced all the nominees. The voting is open. I want to check. <laughs> See how the voting's going. Make sure it's not on the screen. No, it's not. I will definitely make sure it's not on the screen. Oh, I gotta close my eyes because otherwise the reflection of the screen. Will... Oh yeah. <laughs> people, I, people can't see it there. Uh, there we because. are. Is this it? Yeah. Let's just look at this one. Uh, yeah, people are voting. Any comments? Oh, yeah, some comments. Best music and sound. Let's see what people said. Oh, the credits. Oh, now now there's credits. You see, it always happens that way. Is that these things are listed for half a year. And as soon as the, <laughs> as soon as the competition starts, it's like, oh, yeah, so-and-so has to be credited. It's like, oh, my God. That could have been mentioned a million years ago, so I would have to change everything all over the place. But a million okay. years ago wouldn't have helped you either, because you just got... Yeah. It'd be too early. Well, your ancestor was, But you know, it's good to have credits, uh, but I'm surprised nobody mentioned these credits, like, Homo erectus, a I long guess. time ago. Um, <laughs> so, what's coming up in the show? Let's see... We don't mess up here. There we go. Thank you. It was a fun show. Just equal show. Good 
show and ends just in time for me. 319. Good timing. So today we did the nominee reveal and the playthrough. Next episode on Tuesday, we're going to be playing through... Oh, great show, Dan says. Not even good. It's elevated to great. Uh, thank you so much. Atari 2600 work in progress, original, and ports. Um, there are no scheduled things for graphics and music and sound. I'm going to have to look that up. Because I think I assumed that all the music and sound and graphics would be nominated in the other category too, but that's not necessarily the case. There could be a game that's just in music and sound. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure there are actually. So I will be putting those in somewhere. Later, S. Ramirez. Yes. Yes, thank you for all these uh, to the developers. This is probably spam. But I'm going to answer it because there's delivery. <laughs> Maybe it's a real phone call. I'm not hearing like a slam or a no thank you. Couldn't, it can't be a robot. I mean, everybody, robot call just immediate shutdown, right? It's a real. Oh, it's, it's real. It's a, it's a real thing. Did the delivery team arrive? Same number station. The, yes, they arrived in time. Wow. Sure, they met my expectations. <laughs> wow, I, I can't believe you're still talking to them. <laughs> uh, sure. I haven't inspected the TV. No, I'm done. What That's too say? many questions. What was the it's, last it's one? It's a survey oh. about how did we do, except... You know, it's cleverly disguised as we're going to ease you into the unending number of questions mm. about things. Um, I demand an adequate test of room with at least six half drunk players. Half drunk? Can Sorry, do they have to be at least half drunk <laughs> or do they have to be at least six of them? Or is it both? <laughs> I think you mean there have to be six of them. That's what you said. But can, how important is the half drunk? Can they be is, full drunk? I was going to say that. Do three full drunk players equal six half drunk nah. players? No, that's no. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in, especially the people who chatted last on the screen. Thrust 26, Airform Official, Carl G, S. Ramirez, Dan ABC, uh, Charles Whelan, um, Smitty B, Phaser Cat Games, Miss Command, Mike Latow. Ivory Tower Collections. Splendid Nut. Thrust 26. Probably said that already. Uh, looking for names. Looking for names. Looking for new names. Mike Soul. Who else? Nah, and that's the end of the scrolling. So lots and lots and lots. Of, and Captain Classic. and Who missed the whole show. <laughs> or at least uh, didn't most chat. Most of so the whole show. Most of it. Yeah. But the people last this long. And that's why I'm doing them at the end now. Because I want them to watch the whole thing. These are the people who stuck through it. Because I used to announce the names at the beginning. But, you know, those aren't the hardcore people. These are the hardcore people who stuck right to the end. <laughs> that was, I was letting them off easily before. Bless. I don't want to repeat the names. I just do the... Do the um, I know. Having to do subscribers something Subscribers at the beginning. Oh, so and the, much. And talking. The, and the hardcore at the end. Yeah, you can catch it on YouTube. Or you can rewind um, Twitch as well. Um, it's easier when it's not 5 a.m. <laughs> That's true. And Smitty B, uh, 7800. So thank you, everybody, uh, for tuning in. Uh, good luck to all the nominees. Um, already uh, being nominated is a very good recognition. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's great. Because, you know, my films were nominated at different festivals, and that's a huge accomplishment, just yep. to be nominated. Because that's recognition of how, how much work you put into it and people appreciate that work and recognize that work um, winning is cool too but <laughs> <laughs> nominate is is also a very very uh prestigious thing to have so 
congratulations to all the nominees. Yeah. And we are out of here. I'm going to go check out the new TV that's big <laughs> and set it up and try it out um, and upgrade my subscriptions to 4K now. <laughs> like uh, Netflix. I think is there you have a separate to upgrade. with Netflix? Yeah, it is. You can get a lower rate if you don't subscribe to 4K. Hmm. Or, conversely, you pay a higher rate if you do subscribe to 4K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but YouTube is 4K right away. Yeah, 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 but much more compressed. Uh, oh, we're still on that screen. Uh, so we're going to be playing, actually, uh, up right until the show before the event, and there will be no show for that day because I have to get ready. The show is on a Saturday, so technically the day before the show as well. So no show that week except on the Saturday for the presentation of the uh, uh Atari Homebrew Awards. It's on February 12th, but up until then, we will be playing all the nominees, so we get a good sense of what's being, what was nominated, as mm -hmm. well as people voting. They can watch along and, you know, check out the games. If they don't want to play them, they can just watch us play them, and, uh, yeah. 4K ROM? <laughs> yeah, we, uh, yeah. I have to put a bunch of a bunch of more things in here. When are we going to play the 4K games? They're not listed. I have to add another day in or something or shift them all or conglomerate them. I don't have the 4K games on that list. I don't have graphics and sound either. So I'm going to have to... But we didn't... On subsequent days, we're going to have less to do because we don't have to read all the nominees. So I'll and be able you, to put more stuff in. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also... Are you going to? Are you going to go through games that you've already gone through if they're in a no. different category? So it does cut down mm -hmm. as it goes, even f not for seventy eight hundred. That's like I play all the games, but for twenty six hundred, yes, some of these would be knocked off the list. Yeah, beforehand, but four K won't. Or, you, or even difference. if you, or even if you load them up, you. You know, you just load them up and go, yeah, here it is. Uh, we played it the other day, but or whatever, yeah. Nah, yeah. we skipped them. Because we already played them. What are we going to say about them again? Yeah. Uh, so thanks for hanging out with us. We'll be back on Tuesday with more playthroughs of the Atari Homebrew Awards nominees. I have to get all this stuff off my screen. There we go. So thanks for hanging out. And we are out of here. See you on Tuesday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.